Great Voyage, the cartoonist of the Straw Hats. Synopsis. Leo Lant travels to the world of pirates, but his cheat seems to be of no use. Fortunately, I met Luffy at the beginning, and I planned to have a meal in the hat group and wait for the finale. But what he didn't know was that after reading his comics, Luffy frantically earns experience in the comics and awakens Nika form in advance. Zoro had just finished his match with Sasaki Kojiro in the morning, and he fought Ken Parky again in the afternoon. Sanji hangs out with guys with thick eyebrows all day long, shouting about youth, blood and so on. Tilda, you so passed term Wuwanau to create a sealed state. Awakening the bow god and killing star. Chopper gathers the power of the twelve beasts to prove that I am not the weakest fruit of everyone. At the same time, Robin sent you will seal and tell you what raising gun is. Dot. Chapter 01i, The Cartoonist. Join the straw hats at the start. East blue, Goa sea area tilde, blue sea and blue sky, sunny weather. On the sparkling sea, a flock of seagulls flitted low and landed on a medium-sized ship. Ah, it's another day when I can't even see a ghost. At the front of the deck, Liu Olan stretched a long waist against the sea breeze. It has been a year since Liu Olan came to this world as a time traveler. Like other traversers, Liu Olan also awakened the system, the god level manga system. As long as Liu Olan keeps drawing comics, he can keep getting stronger. The addition of the system gave Liu Olan the god level ability to draw comics, and Liu Olan had a lot of comics before time travel in his mind. As a result, Liu Olan felt that he was about to take off. Exclamation mark. But after a long time, he found a problem. As he draws comics one by one, his two attributes of speed and defense seem to increase endlessly. But the problem is, apart from speed and defense, Liu Olan doesn't get any other benefits from the system. Take off? Take off a hammer. What's more, Liu Olan crossed over and landed on this unknown ship, but he didn't know how to navigate. Fortunately, there is enough food on board, otherwise Liu Olan may become the first traverser in history who has a cheat and starves to death. When will I meet someone? As long as I can get him on land. I thank his 18 generations of ancestors Tilda. Liu Lan stretched out his hand to build a pergola in front of his forehead, and looked into the distance. On the vast sea, there is still no trace of people. Gulilu! Exclamation mark. There was a sound of bubbles, which attracted Liu Lan to look. Crash! A large wooden barrel floated out of the sea. Huh? A gift from the sea? Could it be? Is it devil fruit? Looking at the big wooden barrel that suddenly appeared, Liu Lan's heart skipped a beat. Grandpa's luck is coming. He is already disappointed with this broken system, if he can get a devil fruit, maybe it will be a turning point in his fate. Manipulating the salvage rope to hook the large wooden barrel to the deck, Roland walked over to prepare for the drawing prize. Boom! Exclamation mark. But before he got close, he saw the lid of a big wooden barrel burst suddenly. I slept so well. A boy wearing a straw hat seemed to have just woken up, and this one stretched out, directly blowing up the big wooden barrel. Fortunately, this big wooden barrel has already been brought to the deck by Liu Olan. If it is in the sea, then this one will be lazy and drown in place. It seems that I was saved. I thought I was going to die in the sea. Ha 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 ha. The straw hat boy slapped the sawdust off his body and stepped out of the big barrel. Dot. Looking at the two young men in front of him, Liu Olan fell into deep thought. Am I here to get a protagonist? Question mark. The timeline that I didn't know before was immediately clear. Luffy wearing a straw hat. A big wooden barrel floating out of the sea tilde. Yes, it's time for Luffy to just head out to sea from Windmill Village. Exclamation mark. Ha, paintbrush man, you saved me, right? Luffy saw Liu Olan holding a paintbrush in his hand, and came over to say hello kindly tilde. Ah tilde, Nima. Sure enough, it's Wang Luffy, whose nickname is just opening his mouth. Moreover, what kind of nickname is this? My name is Liu Olan. Liu Olan coughed lightly, it's a cartoonist. Cartoonist? Sounds like a very powerful person. Luffy who grew up in a small mountain village, had never heard of such a high-ranking profession, and a look of interest suddenly appeared in his eyes. Before that, all the related occupations he had heard of were from the Red Hair Pirates, and they were basically occupations related to pirates, such as navigators, fighters, chefs, boatmen, etc. Tilda. Well, that must be very powerful. Liu Olan does not deny that he is powerful. Other cartoonists may not be great, but the cartoonist with my system must be great. At least, I'm anti-high sensitivity. Aren't I Tilda? Wow, that's great. Since you're so good, Luffy couldn't help grinning, and pointed his thumb at himself. So, do you want to be my partner? My name is Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, the man who is going to be One Piece. MMMM, it seems that One Piece is a woman Tilda. After thinking about it, I don't e want to mention this stork. I guess Luffy can't e understand it either. But, join the straw hats? This is a good place. With such a broken system on the stand, it is impossible to fly, but life is still going on. In this world of meteor volcano, Earthquake, birdcage buster call, the lives of ordinary people are too small. If you can hold a big boat, it is obviously a good choice. Obviously, the straw hat kid in front of him is a big dog. Super rough? No. To be precise, it should be a group of rough people! Exclamation mark.
On the surface, he is a straw hat kid, but in fact, he is a straw hat kid with marine hero garb, revolutionary army leader dragon, and four emperor's shanks as backers! Exclamation mark. What's more, he himself was cheating! Exclamation mark. Let's put it this way Tilda, as long as you join the gang of the straw hat boy, even if you lie flat, you can definitely make it to the finale Tilda. Okay, thinking of this, Liu Olan agreed without hesitation, being the partner of One Piece is indeed a good choice. Wow, I had a partner. The first time inviting someone to join the group went so smoothly, Luffy was as happy as a monkey, jumping up and down while clapping his hands. After jumping for a while, Luffy looked curiously at the empty deck around him. Liu Olan, why didn't you see anyone else? Of course because I'm the only one on this boat. Hut Hilda? So, you are the captain of this ship? No, correct me. The captain of this ship is now you, the future One Piece, Luffy. Hey, Chapter 02 Luffy, Zantong, this manga is really healing. That night, in order to celebrate the growth of the Straw Hat Pirates, the Straw Hat Pirates held the first banquet in the history of the group. Number of participants, two. Ugh, sailing on the sea is really boring. Liu Olan, what are you doing? The next day, Luffy got up early and did not see Liu Olan, and finally found Liu Olan in Liu Olan's studio. Although he has now joined the Straw Hat Pirates who can lie flat, Liu Olan will not really do nothing and just wait to die. Although this god level manga system is cheating, as long as Liu Olan keeps drawing manga, his defense and speed can continue to increase. Although the output is still zero, it still gives Liu Olan enough power to protect himself. Liu Olan still maintains the previous life routine, getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning to start drawing comics. Hey, Luffy. You're up. Liu Olan put down the paintbrush in his hand and looked at the time. It was only 8 o'clock. Another glance at Luffy's belly. Good guy. It's already recovered after a night of sleep. He remembered that Luffy ate himself into a big ball last night. What an enviable digestive system Tilda. Luffy came over and took out a hand-painted nautical chart from his pocket and opened it. I don't know if the direction we guessed last night is correct. If we sail like this, we should be able to reach the next island. While speaking, Luffy pushed the nautical chart towards Liu Olan motioning for Liu Olan to take a look. Liu Olan curled his lips, and pushed the nautical chart back with a look of disgust. Even a god-level cartoonist like Liu Olan can't understand this kind of abstract nautical chart. Well, don't worry, I trust your judgment. Since he chose to hang up with the Straw Hat Pirates, Liu Olan naturally trusted Luffy 100% in all his decisions. This is the man with the aura of the protagonist. Don't worry about what decisions or judgments he makes as long as he agrees with it. Great, since you agree with my judgment, it seems that I must have guessed right. Putting the nautical chart back into his arms, Luffy put his head in front of Liu Olan's desk, and said with a big mouthful of white fang, What is this you drew? This person can actually hold lightning. Wow, it's amazing. Hold on. The paint isn't dry yet. Seeing Luffy's interest in his comics, Liu Olan suddenly felt a bad premonition. You know, Luffy is a guy who has the reputation of being a human figure. Liu Olan is sure that if he is not careful, this guy will be able to tear down his comic studio without knowing it. It's okay, I'll just take a look, don't do anything. Don't do it. The more you say that, the scarier I get Tilda. Even if these comics are destroyed, it will not have any impact on Liu Olan's strength. But after all, this is the result of Liu Olan's hard work, and there is always emotion. Go, go, future One Piece, if you have nothing to do, go outside and see where our ship is, maybe the island is coming soon. Liu Olan got up, and simply pulled Luffy out taking the sophomore out of the studio first. Okay then, I'll come over and have a look when you go to bed at night Tilda. Wipe. Luffy's words immediately made Liu Olan win Tilda. Damn, why are you staring at my comics? Question mark. Liu Olan is familiar with the plot of One Piece, and naturally knows Luffy's character, and he will not give up until he achieves his goal. He is interested in comics now, so he must see his hands Tilda. In this case, Liu Olan glanced from the bookshelf, and then took out a copy of, Zantong, are you interested in manga? Then let S go to this healing manga to get depressed Tilda. Guaranteed to make you depressed, you will no longer be interested in my comics in the future. Liu Lan stuffed, Zantong, into Luffy's hands. Here, this healing manga is very suitable for you. Take it back and read it slowly. If you want to read the manga in the future, tell me, never allow me to come to you when I'm not around. The studio, he he, received. After getting the manga, Luffy happily raised her hands and ran out happily. Hey, Luffy, Luffy, it's not big brother. I'm bad, I really don't want my studio to be demolished by you. I hope Zantong can stop you from being interested in comics. Shrugging, Liu Olan closed the door. Continued to be a painter of B.I. by Tilda. On the other side, Luffy got Zantong? Went to the deck to watch for a while, but didn't see the shadow of the island, so he sat down and started to read comics. Yeah, let's go for the boy of dreams. Looking at the comic book, where Tatsumi, Ayaz and Shea embarked on a journey to save the poor on Backward Village, Luffy was extremely excited. He looked at the three as if he saw himself, Ace and Sabo! 
Once upon a time, his wish was for the three of them to go to sea together! Exclamation mark. Seeing this scene in the comics now, Luffy feels a warmth in his heart. Liu Lan is right, Zan Tong, this manga is really healing. Luffy couldn't help sighing like this. Chapter 03 The more you look at it, the more Luffy rushes into the comics to beat people. That's great. Compared with me, Ace and Sabo, Tatsumi and the three of them can embark on the journey of their dreams together, which is really enviable. Luffy continued to flip back happily. Wow, Tasmi is so strong. He killed this dangerous species by himself, so powerful. Although he and his little friend are temporarily separated, they will definitely be able to get in touch when they arrive in the Imperial Capital. Yeah, Tatsumi has finally arrived in the Imperial Capital, and he will meet his little friend soon right, huh? This Rick Routier is an idiot. He kicked Tatsumi out. Damn it, how did this bad woman cheat Tasmi of her money? Why are there not many good people in the Imperial capital? Hey Tilda, you're being hasty. Miss Alia, who helped Tatsumi, is a very nice person, as gentle as Makino. Dot. This is Luffy's first time reading comics. Just like the vast number of fans who are exposed to comics for the first time, they are quickly substituted by the rhythm of the plot, and they can't pull it out Tilda. Ugh, bastards. These bastards of the Night Raid team, why did you kill the gentle and lovely Miss Alia? Luffy was furious when he saw the Night Range team raiding the house of Miss Alia in the Imperial capital! Exclamation mark. Up, it's so over the top! Exclamation mark. Be sure to see the chapter where these bastard Night Raid squads are cleaned up! Exclamation mark. Luffy quickly turned to the next page. However, when the tragic scene of Ali Curry appeared in the comics, Nani, a complex fusion of emotions called shock, unbelievable, unbelievable. An unacceptable suddenly emerged on Luffy's face Tilda. Luffy is going to be depressed Tilda. Immediately afterwards, the plot of the story unfolded completely. Slowly, Luffy also understood the camp of justice and evil in this comic. Bastard. These people are 10,000 times more hateful than the nobles of Goa Kingdom. Seeing the actions of those corrupt nobles and officials, Luffy's inner anger was completely ignited. Exclamation mark. Ah, why are these innocent people being executed? Bastard, stop the damn executioner. Ugh, I want to beat this group of scumbags away. Dot. Looking at the innocent people who were about to be executed in the square, Luffy couldn't bear it anymore. Exclamation mark. He looked up to the sky and roared angrily, Arsel, stop it. Boom. Exclamation mark. Tick tock. The patter of rain fell on the ground, and the splash of water splashed on Luffy's legs. The executioner on the execution platform stopped his movements in astonishment, and looked down Tilda. The surrounding melon-eating crowd gathered their eyes in shock. All their eyes were on Luffy at this moment. Artilda, sensing the gazes of the people around, Luffy looked down at the open palm, where the cold rain was beating in the palm. What happened? Question mark. This rain, this touch, it's all true. Shouldn't I be on Liu Olan's boat? The ground beneath my feet. Luffy stomped hard. Also true! Exclamation mark. This. Is this person crazy? How dare he step out of such a behavior openly? Crazy. This is a capital offense. Dot. After a short period of shock, the surrounding crowd uttered horrified discussions. In a corner not far away, Ma Yin and Tasmi were watching the execution. The task they received was to come to the Imperial capital to inquire about information. Although they really wanted to save people, their rationality made them give up this act of sending them to death. But seeing the straw hat boy who suddenly appeared, the two of them were completely dumbfounded. Tatsumi widened his eyes and exclaimed, No, that brave boy is about to suffer, idiot. Why is he so reckless? Not only can't he save anyone, but he'll put himself in. Ma Yin clenched her small fists, feeling very annoyed at Luffy's reckless behavior. Bastard, what are you doing? At this time, Oka, the captain of the Imperial Capital's defense, uttered an angry roar, continue to execute the execution. They're criminals who slandered the minister, they should be executed immediately. And what about that person? Go to two people and catch him up. You dare to disturb the execution of the soldiers of the Empire, you deserve death. Under the anger of the captain of the defense, Oka. Another soldier broke through the crowd and rushed towards Luffy. On the execution platform, after the executioners came to their senses, they raised their butcher knives high again. Although I don't know why it appears here, but ah, this is just as I wished. Luffy stepped on his feet and jumped high under the force of the rubber. Rubber gun. Boom. As soon as an executioner raised his knife, his head felt like an earthquake, and he fell to the ground in an instant. What? How can his hands be stretched so long? Oh my god. Did I get dazzled just now? Question mark. I heard that among the strong men in Huang Quan Temple, there is an existence that can manipulate their own bodies to attack. Could it be that he is also from the Huang Quan Temple? But why would the people from the Huang Quan Temple come to deal with the Imperial Guards? Dot. Ignoring the shock of the surrounding crowd, Luffy punched one of the executioners flying, grabbed the execution frame, and pulled his body down onto the execution platform. Kill him. Several executioners yelled fiercely and killed Luffy. Call out. A beam of energy arrived instantly. Piercing through one of the executioners, rubber whip, Luffy's arm turned into a long whip, whipping left and right. 
The executioners were not all in one enemies at all, they were knocked out directly. You wanna die? Seeing that the sudden intruder had caused such a big impact. The captain of the defense, Okar, was furious. He is a strong swordsman, and immediately drew his sword and rushed to the execution platform. I'm going to chop you into pieces, I'll beat you up first. Rubananta! Exclamation mark. Bang 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 bang! Exclamation mark. Fists like a rainstorm of pear blossoms crazily fell on the body of the defense captain Okar. His body was sifting like crazy like a rag bag! Exclamation mark. Boom! Exclamation mark. With the last punch, Okar's body shot up into the sky like a cannonball, crossed several roofs, and disappeared in front of everyone tilde. Battle experience value plus 666? Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666? Question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. On the top of Luffy's head, an invisible transparent interface popped up such a few prompts tilde. Chapter 04 Are you also a rubber fruit capable person? Quiet! Exclamation mark. Silence! Exclamation mark. The scene was dead silent! Exclamation mark. Everyone looked at Luffy on the scaffold in disbelief, in the Imperial Capital. The captain of the Imperial Capital was sent flying. This person, are you crazy? Exclamation mark. Even the Night Raid squad that made the Imperial capital fearful was only engaged in assassination activities, and had never taken any action in such a large crowd. Catch him, with a stern shout, a large number of soldiers from the Imperial defense team rushed over from all directions of the execution platform. The civilians who had been watching the excitement fled in a hurry. Although they are residents of the Imperial capital, their lives are no different from those of the minions of the Empire. It's okay to watch the excitement. But when it comes to the excitement of life, no one wants to take a second look. It's just right. Facing the Imperial soldiers rushing over, Luffy not only showed no fear, but was full of excitement. He kept walking, looking back and digging. With every punch, an Imperial garrison soldier would fall to the ground. Battle experience value plus 666? Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666? Question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666? Question mark. Battle experience value plus 666? Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666? Question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666? Question mark. Transparent reminders keep coming out from above Luffy's head tilde. Behind him, beams of energy beams accurately killed every garrison soldier who wanted to sneak attack Luffy. That person is too strong. Beside my yin, Tazmi, who was acting as the guard at this time, watched the scene of Luffy's battle and was so shocked that his eyeballs almost fell out. Well, strong is strong, but he can't be so reckless. We have to save him, he has the qualifications to join the night attack. He was talking, but it didn't affect the accuracy of Ma Yin's shooting at all. Her eyes were sharp, and wherever she looked, it was when the guard soldiers fell. Time passed by every minute and every second tilde. When the last Imperial guard soldier fell unconscious under the bombardment of Luffy's rubber tomahawk, the entire square was completely silent. Not only that, even the surrounding streets were rarely quiet. Those people had already run back home, shivering. They know that such a rebellion behavior is something the Empire will never tolerate. Soon there will be a cleansing of the Empire. Not only that, the battle on the other side of the square for so long must have already alarmed the Empire. The monsters from Huang Quan Temple must be on their way. Huchi Huchi Tilda. Luffy clenched his fists and drooped naturally. He lowered his head, panting heavily. Hey, why are you still standing there? Get out of here. The pink figure appeared behind Luffy and there was some complaining and coquettish in the voice, but people couldn't help but feel that the voice was very cute. Luffy looked back, and saw Ma Yin holding the gun in her hand and making a hair movement, and then ran towards the alley. Ma Yin ran a few steps, but heard Tazmi shout, Hey, hey, that person, you ran wrong. That's the direction to the palace. She looked back and saw that Luffy was not following her and Tazmi, but was walking towards the avenue leading to the palace. The two quickly rushed over and stopped Luffy. Hey, we want to save you. Follow us first. We will introduce our organization to you when we are in a safe place. Ma Yin's legs were spread apart, and she crossed her hips angrily. No, you are an eye trader, I know. Luffy remained expressionless, and walked past Ma Yin. At the moment, his mind is full of those poor people who are oppressed. His mind is full of wanting to beat the minister and the king away. Exclamation mark. Run away first. Come on. Those words are not in Luffy's dictionary. When Luffy directly revealed their identities, Ma Yin and Tazmi's expressions changed at the same time. Even the Empire didn't know the identities of the two of them in the night attack, but the person in front of him said it out immediately. For a while, Ma Yin and Tazmi were confused Ilda. Have we been exposed? However, looking at Luffy's appearance, this person should not be a bad person Tilda. After thinking about it, Ma Yin decided not to think about it, but reminded, Hey, where are you going? That's the road leading to the palace. That's right. 
I'm going to the palace, I'm going to beat that bastard minister and puppet emperor away. Luffy's voice was cold, but he didn't stop his steps. Ah Tilda Tatsumi opened his mouth wide in shock. Hey, hey, you, although you are very strong, if you think so, you are sending yourself to death. Clap 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 clap! Exclamation mark. It was also at this moment that a burst of applause came from under the dim street lights ahead. Do you want to go to the palace to commit murder? Ha ha ha, then this road will not work. From the shadows, a burly bald man stepped out, with a scruffy and lush beard and two bull's eyes like copper bells, it looks like a ghost. What? Tatsumi took a step back subconsciously, his face full of shock. Ma Yin's expression on the side changed drastically, and Sakura opened her mouth slightly. It's not good, he is Zutan among the four ghosts of Rakshasa. Tatsumi didn't know about the Rakshaw four ghosts, but Ma Yin, as an old man who attacked at night, would definitely not miss the homework on materials. Since he appears here, then, Ma Yin subconsciously grabbed the pumpkin cannon and looked around. Sure enough, on a railing on the second floor, I saw a cute girl with weed colored skin. Hi. Looking for me? Mutt, one of the four Rakshasa ghosts, waved to Ma Yin, with playful canine teeth in a sunny smile. Don't look, I'm here. On the left, Ling Lu, one of the four ghosts, came out of the alley. Datsumi was nervous and counted. One, two, three. There should be one more. Boom. As soon as he finished speaking, he felt a strong force on his neck. When it was dark, he fell to the ground. Tasmi. Ma Yin exclaimed and turned her head, and immediately saw the boss of the four ghosts appearing behind them, Thorn. Without any extra hesitation, Ma Yin bounced back and was about to shoot. But before he raised the pumpkin cannon in his hand, he found that the thorn had disappeared from his eyes. Too slow. A joking voice sounded in Ma Yin's ear. Boom. Exclamation mark. Jia's heavy fist fell and Ma Yin fell unconscious on the ground. Bastard, get away from them. Rubber gun. Luffy roared, and the rubber fist blasted out. Huh? Have you developed your body to the point where you can manipulate it at will? There was a look of surprise in the eyes of the horse head on the second floor. At the same time, he stretched out his right hand, and his arm stretched instantly like Luffy's, grabbing Luffy's fist that was about to hit the spine's back. Nanny? Are you also a rubber fruit user? This scene directly stunned Luffy! Exclamation mark. What banana? What fruit? Thorn turned around glanced at Luffy, and said in that characteristic hangman voice, say goodbye to your companion Tilda. As he said that, a large number of needle pricks emerged from his arm, and he stabbed at Tatsumi's head. Ham Tilda. Seeing this scene, Luffy felt his blood pressure rushing into his head. Although he hasn't spoken a few words with Tasmi and Maine, Luffy knows about the support that Maine and Tasmi gave him just now. For Luffy, as long as you have fought side by side with me, you are a partner who can be happy with me! Exclamation mark. Seeing that these two cheap partners were about to die in front of his eyes, Luffy's emotions instantly reached the brink of collapse. Do not, Luffy roared in grief. Hatilda, a gust of sea breeze blows on his face. With a jerk, Luffy woke up. Ah, Tilda? I was just modeling his own face. Luffy thought he was hallucinating. But when he saw the cartoon in his hand, his eyes widened suddenly. Exclamation mark. Because the picture on this page is different from before. Exclamation mark. He remembered that the content of this page should be about the numbness of the onlookers after the execution of those innocent civilians. But now, the thorn of the Rakshaw four ghosts is swinging his arm, and the dense needle pricks on it are aiming at Tasma on the ground. Chapter 05 Luffy's Crazy Brush Experience Ah, Datsumi and Maine are in danger. Luffy's brain circuit, the first reaction is not that the content of this comic can be changed, but the safety of Tatsumi and Maya and Tilda. Damn, these guys are too strong. Why does that girl with a bright smile also have the ability of rubber fruit? No. I can't watch Tasmi and Maine die. I still have to go in. Luffy turned to the previous page, only to see that the content of the previous page had also changed. After the execution scene, there was an additional scene of Luffy's appearance. It's here. I have to go in from this page and remind them two to run. Luffy looked at the content on the screen and shouted, I want to go in. Wow Tilda. The deck and the sea breeze are gone Tilda. In the dark night, the scene of Imperial Guard soldiers all over the ground appeared. Hey Tilda. It really came in. Looking around. Luffy had a look of joy on his face. Then, a cute girl's voice came from his ear. Hey, why are you still standing there? Get out of here. Great, still alive. Hearing Maine's voice, Luffy breathed a sigh of relief. He rushed over with a stride. You don't need to say anything. I know you want to save me, but I'm going to beat Minister and the Emperor, so hurry up. While speaking, Luffy pushed Ma Yin and Tasmi directly to the alley not far away. Nanny? Are you going to beat the minister and the emperor? Hearing what Luffy said, Ma Yin's eyes shone with astonishment. If the ministers and the emperor were beaten up so easily, our night raids would have been done long ago. Hey, hey, don't do stupid things. Believe me, the minister and the emperor will be wiped out sooner or later, but not now. I'll take you to a safe place first, and I need to talk to you about some things. Ma Yin took away Luffy's hand that was pushing her, and said angrily, I don't want to talk to you guys, 
Let's go. Really, Luffy is going to be pissed off by these two stalkers Tilda. You two idiots, if you don't leave, you will be blown into a hornet's nest in a while. Why are you like this? Do you know that your current situation is very dangerous? At this time, Tatsumi couldn't stand it anymore. Ma Yin is such a gentle girl, how could you drive her away in such an annoyed tone? Handsome Ben is so mad! Exclamation mark. Let's go. Luffy waved impatiently. But at this moment, do you want to go to the palace to commit murder? Ha ha ha. Then this road will not work. From the shadows, Zutan, who looked like a ghost, stepped out. Damn it, it's too late. You two hurry up. Luffy pushed hard, pushing the two into the alley. Then, he bent his legs, charged up, and exploded. Exclamation mark. The whole person is like a spring, rushing towards Zutan with a whoosh. Rubber seal. While he was still in the air, Luffy kicked towards Zutan at a faster speed after he had charged up his legs. Boom. It hit Zutan's chest firmly. Battle experience value plus 666. Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666. Question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666. Question mark. Kaka Kaka tilde. Zutan took a step back and the moment his back foot hit the ground, the whole ground split into spider webs and spread out to the surroundings. However, Zutan looked down at the big slippers on his chest, and twitched a strange smile at the corner of his mouth. You are too tender, boy. Your weak strength is simply tickling for my body that has undergone a lot of practice. Dot. He didn't even bother to take the opportunity to control Luffy's feet, but joked as if he was playing prey. Hey, uncle with mop head and beard, don't be so self-righteous. I will definitely beat you to the ground. Luffy didn't succeed in the blow. But he wasn't discouraged at all. Instead, he was full of confidence. Drag. Mop beard. Uncle? Question mark. Arsehole. Exclamation mark. Lozy will crush you to death. Zutan's face was called an evil spirit by the common people in the imperial capital. If anyone's family had a child who was troubled at night, as long as they mentioned Zutan's appearance, they would be too frightened to cry. But right now, he is actually being called a mop headed beard by a stunned young man. Zutan was furious. Ahahaha, Tilda the bearded mop. Dot, 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 is it really impressive, Tilda? At the railing on the second floor, a small horse head appeared here. She covered her small mouth with one hand and smiled very cutely. It's so funny that Zutan, who has always been called an evil ghost, has this day. Linglu also came out of the alley. Her eyes fell on Luffy. But, what's the matter with this guy's body? Has he cultivated to the point where he can control his body freely? Yeah. It looks like I can control my body. The horse's head bent down and leaned over the railing. It didn't look like the four ghosts of Rakshasa, but it looked like the little sister next door came to the balcony to blow the wind. Rubber machine gun. Ignoring the other words, Luffy took a double step, and his arms were like a storm, and he bombarded out frantically. Whoosh whoosh whoosh! Exclamation mark. The punch was like the wind, and the surrounding air was blasted. Battle experience value plus 666? Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. Battle experience value plus 666, question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. Zutan still didn't hide, and shook his chest hard, but when he saw Luffy's move clearly, his eyes widened. Good guy. You even secretly learned a hundred crack fist from our Huang Quan Temple. Forget it, let's experience the real Huang Quan Temple hundred crack fist today. Huang Quan Temple. The oppressive arm muscles swelled violently, as if some ferocious beast was about to burst out of it. Zutan clenched his fists. Next moment tilde. Hundred crack fist. Boom boom boom. Exclamation mark. Large casserole. Oh no. The watermelon sized fist counterattacked back at the same speed. Bang 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 bang. Exclamation mark. Luffy's body is like a sieve under such a heavy fist blow tilde, boom, taking the last punch, Luffy flew upside down, the moment he landed, he flipped over in the air, and in a perfect landing posture, he slid and knelt on one knee, damn, what a pervert's defense, Luffy wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and stood up again, although Luffy in the first gear can't deal effective damage to Zutan, but as a rubber fruit capable user, Luffy's endurance is at a very high level, as long as it is a blunt blow, it will be automatically resolved by the nature of the rubber when it falls on Luffy, and it cannot cause fatal damage. Hey, hey, are you more pervert? The horse's head on the second floor jumped down, with his hands behind his head. This is the first time I've seen someone who can forcibly resist all of Zutan's hundred cracks fist tilde. Even the monster j who can't resist Zutan like this bay I crack fist is definitely not good. Is the body actually so strong? It seems that you must have stolen a teacher from Huang Quan Temple. Zutan patted his right fist with his left hand, and his face became even more excited. In this way, I will liberate your soul even more. Cracking rock palm. Zutan stepped forward with one step, raising one arm high, 
as if he was climbing a mountain. Luffy slammed back and was bounced off. Battle experience value plus 666, question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. On the invisible interface, the experience value is steadily increasing like an old dog. Interesting, interesting. It's been a long time since I met a guy who can fight like this. You guys are not allowed to interfere. I want to see how long he can last. Zutan was full of fighting spirit, his huge body oppressed him, and attacked Luffy frantically. Luffy also responded to the same. Although the output is limited, the experience value is soaring. Exclamation mark. Chapter 06 Liu o Lan. Oops. Luffy started talking nonsense. Battle experience value plus 666, question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. Luffy kept being beaten, but the offensive didn't stop until. It's really strange, you kid is so resistant to fighting, but your two companions are vulnerable. She came out from the alley on the right, carrying Ma Yin and Tazmi who had been knocked unconscious and threw them to the ground. Afterwards, he raised his elbow. A large number of spikes emerged, and slammed towards the two people on the ground. Ah! Stop! Luffy, with a bruised nose and swollen face, let out a hoarse roar when he saw this scene! Exclamation mark. Wow Tilda! The sea breeze blows on the face, it's chilly! Come out again? Luffy looked around, under the warm sunlight, the waves were gently shaking. The humid moisture in the air liberated Luffy from the highly tense mental state just now. That thorn! is really troublesome. Luffy really hates this kind of villain who can do his best not to beep. If Thorn hadn't wanted to kill Ma Yin and Tazmi, Luffy would still be fighting Zutan now. I don't know if it's an illusion, but Luffy felt that in the battle with Zutan just now, his proficiency in using his own fruits seemed to be getting more and more proficient. And there is another thing that can't be explained. It seems to be groping Tilda. No, with my current strength, I still can't save Ma Yin and Tazmi. Continued to fight. I must beat those bastards to the ground. Luffy took a deep breath and entered the comic again. This time, because he was familiar with Zutan's fighting routines, Luffy's performance was obviously much better than the second time. Exclamation mark. Experience points are also soaring. However, when Thorn came out, the two guys, Main and Tazmi, dragged Luffy back after entering for the fourth time tilde. Entering for the fifth time tilde. Dot. Ninth entry tilde. Tenth entry tilde. Every time you go in, Luffy's performance will be greatly improved. Luffy's desire to become stronger grows stronger each time he comes out! Exclamation mark. He has had enough of watching Mayin and Tazmi about to be killed every time, and he can only growl impotently tilde. Until the tenth time when he came out of the comics, Luffy felt that some powerful moves were about to be released! Exclamation mark. That was a super strong feeling! Exclamation mark. Yes, I'm going to model it out! Exclamation mark. Go in! Luffy yelled again wanting to enter the comic. However, go in. Um, I want to go in. Let me in. I'm going in. Question mark. After several attempts, Luffy's expression changed. Bad Tilda. Shouldn't it be impossible to get in? If that's the case, wouldn't Main and Tazmi be finished? No, I have to go in. Exclamation mark. After a few more tries, Luffy started to get nervous. No. This manga belongs to Luo Lan. He must know how to get in. I'll ask him. Luffy, who couldn't think of riding a sister, suddenly had an inspiration, and went to the cabin with a comic book. Liu O Lan, help me. Arriving at Liu O Lan's studio, Luffy opened the door and went in. Wipe, are you depressed enough to need counseling? Liu O Lan looks up at Luffy Tilda. Seeing this, Liu O Lan suddenly felt guilty. Look at how our captain has become depressed Tilda. At this time Luffy, the hair is messy, the eyes are dull, the whole person is exhausted, and even the spirit seems to be a little bit split Tilda. A whole depression patient! Exclamation mark. Seeing this, Liu Olan felt more and more that he had gone too far, and shouldn't have shown, Zantong, to Luffy Tilda. It seems that the power of, Zantong, is still too great, even Joy Boy can't handle it. That so and so is the author of Zantong, you said you drew a manga, is it a crime? Liu Olan, you must help me. Luffy was anxious to save Ma Yin and Tazmi, so she held Liu Olan's hand and said anxiously. But the more he looks like this, the more he makes Liu Olan feel guilty Tilda. Luffy, don't worry. I know all about your situation. Liu Lan gave Luffy a hug and patted his head, trying to soothe his depressed heart. Great, I knew it would be useful to find you. Sure enough, I just said Tilda. The comics drawn by Liu Lan, he must know how to get in. There was light in Luffy's eyes! Exclamation mark. Liu Lan blamed himself even more. Look, Luffy has been deeply trapped in the shadow of Zantong and can't extricate himself, just hearing a word of comfort from me seems to be saved. Liu Lan, tell me the method, I'm going to save my yin. I'm going to save Tazmi. Luffy was eager to save people, and hurriedly urged. What? Question mark. 
Save main, save Tasmi, question mark. You watched it pretty fast, have you seen the finale yet? But, oops, has Luffy's situation gotten this serious? They all started talking nonsense, sin sin, exclamation mark. Also tell you how, let me tell you how to relieve this symptom, Luffy, listen to me, the method is actually very simple, go back now and have a good rest, get some sleep, and everything will be fine until tomorrow, saying that, Liu Olan hugged Luffy even tighter, he feels guilty Tilda, is it okay to get some sleep, Luffy froze for a moment, but then, he suddenly realized, exclamation mark, yup, why didn't I think of it, it must be that the number of times I went in today, is up, and when the number of times is refreshed tomorrow, I will be able to go in, Luffy, be obedient and go to rest. Only when you have enough energy can you save Ma Yin even better. In order to coax Luffy to sleep, Liu Olan simply followed Luffy's words. Save main, right? Save it save it. As long as you fall asleep, you will have everything in your dream. Whoever you want to save Tilda. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. Knowing the method, Luffy suddenly had hope. Pick up the comic book and go out. Liu Olan walked to the door, looked at the back of Luffy happily hopping away to his room and sighed suddenly Tilda, hey, I did something wrong Tilda, chapter 07 shift gears, exclamation mark second gear, exclamation mark. The next day, early in the morning, Luffy rubbed his sleepy eyes and stretched on the bed, ah, I want to save Maine, I want to save Tasmi, suddenly remembering that he still has important things to do, Luffy jumped up from the bed like a chicken blood, he took out, Zantong, from under the pillow, and Luffy opened it, sure enough, he still appears in the comics, yesterday was not a dream, exclamation mark. By the way, the number of times I went in was used up yesterday, and Liu Olan said that the number of times will recover today. Thinking of this, Luffy's heart skipped a beat. Go in! Exclamation mark. Wow Tilda, under the dim light, the stone pavement of the Imperial capital looks mean and deserted. Sure enough, I'm back, finally coming in again. Luffy was thrilled. Hey, why are you still standing there? Get out of here. A girl's voice full of resentment and resentment reached Luffy's ears. Every time I entered the comics yesterday, when Luffy heard Ma Yin's voice, it actually became more and more annoying. Because if it weren't for the two stalkers with Tasmi, he could have fought the Rakshaw for ghosts for a long time. Although he couldn't see the experience point prompt popping up above his head, he could clearly feel that he was obviously experiencing some kind of improvement in each battle! Exclamation mark. In fact, this is indeed the case. In Luffy's original world, what does one need to become stronger? Question mark. Fruit abilities and Haki! Exclamation mark. However, whether it's fruit abilities or Haki, the fastest way to level up is the same. That's fighting! Exclamation mark. Only in the battle after battle, the strength will usher in transformation. But when she couldn't enter the manga yesterday, Luffy got anxious! Exclamation mark. It was a feeling of losing two partners. Now, hearing that haunting voice again, Luffy is in such a good mood. But, without saying a word, Luffy grabbed the two of them and pushed them into the alley. Afterwards, the four Rakshasa ghosts appeared and Luffy entered the battle. There is no doubt that this journey into the comics finally ended by preventing Ma Yin and Tasmi from being killed. Soon Tilda, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, when today's entry into the comics comes to the ninth time. Go in, you two idiots, and watch me beat those bastards away. Skillfully pressing the dog heads of Ma Yin and Tasmi, Luffy came to the side of the alley and pushed them in. Then he quickly came to the avenue leading to the palace. Do you want to go to the palace to commit murder? Ha ha ha, then this road will not work. In the shadows, the ghostly Zutan appeared again. Really? But I want to go. Under the straw hat, the corner of Luffy's mouth twitched slightly, and his feet stomped. He rushed out like a rocket, and slammed into Zutan's chest fiercely with his clenched fist. Boom. Terrible shock. Yes, Zutan felt his mouth constricted, and his back molars clenched subconsciously. The strength is so strong, it's really unexpected. Zutan stepped back a few steps, his eyes widened in surprise. He patted his chest, and turned to Luffy with a playful smile, but... This should be your full strength, right? For my body that has experienced many cultivations, this strength dot 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 is still not enough Tilda. Ahahaha no wonder he dared to make a big fuss in the execution ground of the imperial capital. He turned out to be a pretty good little big brother Tilda. On the second floor, the figure of the horse had arrived as promised. She bent down, leaned over the railing, rested her chin on her elbows, and looked at Luffy with interest with her big black eyes. In the alley around the corner, Ling Lu came out and let out a chuckle. Yeah. I haven't encountered such a strong prey for a long time. Do you know? Faced with this familiar smell, Luffy rubbed his wrists and moved his hands and feet. The three looked at Luffy with some doubts. Know what? When I was defeated by you time and time again, I was thinking, if I can't improve my strength, how can I protect my partner in the future travel? Although there is only Liu Olan as a partner now, in the comics, Luffy also has cheap partners like Ma Yin and Tasmi. What's more, in the future sailing trips, Luffy is sure that he will have more partners. If you encounter a situation like today again, 
facing your partner in a life and death crisis and being powerless. What qualifications do I have to say that I am a man who wants to be the One Piece? Luffy is very glad that his first partner met Liu Lan! Exclamation mark. It is even more fortunate that Liu Lan's comics have a magical ability that can be experienced in it, allowing him to experience how helpless and hopeless it is to lose a partner when he just went to sea! Exclamation mark. If it weren't for the fact that this is in the comic world of, Zantong, with the function of unlimited cut, then Luffy would really lose his partner. Therefore, every failure is a strong injection of motivation for Luffy. Become stronger Tilda. I want to be stronger! Exclamation mark. On the avenue of the square Tilda. Zutan? Martu and Linglu looked at each other Tilda. Ah, hello Tilda. What are you talking about, you little big brother in a straw hat? Why do you lose to us again and again? The horse's head bulged its mouth, indicating that you are joking. Linglu shrugged. If I remember correctly, it should be the first time we met. Could it be a fool? Talking to himself there, Zutan rubbed his fists and lowered his figure slightly. This is his posture before sprinting. Luffy did not respond to the three people's doubts, but left and left, and right and right. Squat down. Luffy's eyes are full of seriousness. Although some partners are not strong, I hope they can always be with me. If I am not strong enough, I will lose them. Oh Tilda? Your idea is correct, but in fact, when you meet a strong person like me, what can you, a little mouse? Do? Zutan looked at Luffy playfully, and the mockery at the corner of his mouth became more intense. During the two days of fighting, and last night's sleep, I racked my brains to come up with more powerful moves. You can guarantee not to lose your companion. Promise that no one will leave me. While speaking, Luffy's legs appeared in the shape of waves, as if the water pipe of the faucet was suddenly turned on. A large amount of air poured in from the soles of his feet, along his feet to the whole body, accelerating the blood circulation in his whole body. Zizizi Tilda. As his skin began to turn red, his body steamed. What is he doing? What's going on with his body? It looks like a boiled crab. Seeing Luffy's appearance, the horse covered his mouth and giggled, not realizing that their crisis was coming. The body can also emit a lot of steam. It seems that he is also a person who has developed his body to the point where he can control it. Could it be the guy who stole the master from the Huangquan temple? Ling Lu said. Interesting. Zutan was full of excitement, and he clapped his hands together. Now I want to liberate your soul more quickly. But at this moment, um, Zutan? Martu and Ling Lu were stunned at the same time. He looked at Luffy instantly, because at this moment, Anora called a strong man erupted quietly on Luffy's body. Exclamation mark. Luffy put his fist on the ground and raised his head suddenly. Shift gears. Exclamation mark. Second gear. Exclamation mark. Chapter 08 Instant Kill. Spike. Exclamation mark. There is no earth-shattering roar, no radiant vision tilde. Although Luffy still looks the same Luffy, it's just that the skin has turned red tilde. But at this moment, his unique aura that belongs to the strong cannot be ignored! Exclamation mark. As the four Rakshasa ghosts, they all have experienced countless hunting missions. There is absolutely no misjudgment about the aura of the strong. It seems to be more powerful than before, it's interesting. The smile on Zutan's face gradually perverted. He spread his five fingers and made a clicking sound. However, although your aura is stronger than before, you will understand one thing in the face of absolute power. That is, even if a weak hair spreads its hair. It is impossible to become a ferocious lion! Exclamation mark. The moment the words fell, Zutan slammed his feet on the ground. His figure is very bulky, but it also increases his inertia because of this. Although the Taijutsu of Huangquan Temple and the Taijutsu of Pirate World are things in different worlds, if we only talk about the degree of strengthening the human body, the Taijutsu of Huangquan Temple is by no means weaker than Marine Six styles. You know, the physique of the people in the Zantong world is not as pervert as the basic human physique of the Pirate World. But even so, the practice at Huangquan Temple can still pervert the physical defenses of Zutan, Ji, and Linglu, who were originally ordinary humans, to ultimate. Especially that Gaiji. Not only can his body resist swords, he can even use any piece of flesh as a weapon. It is enough to see the bulls who practice in Huangquan Temple tilde. Huangquan Temple Big Steel Abira. It's like a ferocious beast coming out of the cage, and it's like a speeding train arriving suddenly. Zutan rushed to Luffy in an instant, opened his palm like two steel plates and slapped Luffy hard on the head. This is his specialty, and he is also dubbed opening coconuts by himself. Even Tagushi had his head cracked and his brain splattered under this move. Boom. The palms close over Luffy's head. Zutan grinned wide, revealing a ferocious face. He can't wait to feel the pleasure of the other party's brains splashing all over his body. Only, snapped. The shocking pain from the palm suddenly woke Zutan up from his fantasy. It was the shocking pain caused by the clapping of the palms of the two palms. As for Luffy, who was slapped by his palms just now, it disappeared like a bubble. After image, how is this possible? Suddenly realizing the seriousness of the problem, the ferocity on Zutan's face instantly froze. He turned his head violently, and looked around. It's here. Rush. Luffy fell behind Zutan. Zutan turned his head again, but felt as if a mountain suddenly fell on his chin. Rubber volcano. Luffy kicked up, 
and the sole of the slipper hit Zutan's chin directly. Under the impact of this huge force, Zutan's burly body immediately took off. U -u -tilde. After crossing a perfect parabola, Zutan fell to the ground with a bang, and his whole consciousness was about to lose consciousness. Wow, wow, wow. His hand squirmed unconsciously, and he wanted to say something, but his shattered jaw and lack of consciousness made it impossible for him to utter any logical words. Suddenly, his sight recovered slightly. Do not! Exclamation mark. In Zutan's vision, he saw a big foot falling from the sky. Rubber tomahawk. Luffy landed on Zutan's face. Exclamation mark. Boom. Exclamation mark. The slate burst. Luffy's feet sank into the ground together with Zutan's head. Ka 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 ka! Exclamation mark. On the entire avenue leading to the Imperial Palace, it seemed as if it had been hit by an earthquake. In an instant, countless cracks appeared out of thin air and quickly continued in all directions. Ka 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 ka! Exclamation mark. One of the grins continued into the alley behind Luffy. This. This, this, this. In the alley, Tatsumi fell to the ground shocked by the gap. His eyes were about to pop out in surprise. Is this the power that human beings can achieve? When he came out of the village and killed a few dangerous species on the way, he felt that he was awesome. But seeing this scene now, Tatsumi expressed doubts about life tilde. That person, is it really the same species as me? Good so strong. Ma Yin opened her mouth wide, completely dumbfounded. This powerful force. Before that, she had only seen her brother Brand in battle. But Brand can only reach this level when he uses Taegu. But the guy in front of him is only relying on his own strength. His Tilda. Under the street lamp, Ling Lu gasped Tilda. It is not unacceptable for Zutan to be knocked down, but Zutan was instantly killed by someone. This is unacceptable. Hey, Mutt. Should we retreat first? As the most doggy of the four Akshasa ghosts, Ling Lu didn't want to end up like Zutan. Nah. Hearing this, Matt jumped down from the second floor, and he threw his hands back, grabbing his braid. Untie Tilda. Bang! Exclamation mark. Two heavy horseshoes fell to the ground. You want to fight? Ling Lu frowned. She knew that the horse's head would only remove the horseshoes from its hair when it was fighting with all its strength, so that it could exert its maximum speed. Actually, I don't want to fight with such a little big brother. It's just that the order I received was to kill the criminals who disturbed the execution scene. So, I am also very helpless Tilda. Spreading out his two little hands. The expression on the horse's head was a bit playful. Boom. No sooner had she finished speaking than an extended fist landed on her face. Now, you don't have to be helpless. Looking at the unconscious horse's head, Luffy withdrew his fist. How about you? Dot. Sensing Luffy's oppressive gaze. Ling Lu pursed her lips Tilda. When will you be strict at this time? Ah ha 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 Tilda thank you for your mercy. She lifted the horse's head with one hand, and disappeared into the alley without looking back. Chapter 09 Not only the second gear, but also the third gear! Exclamation mark. In the alley, Main and Tasmi were completely shocked by Luffy's strength. Under the dim light, a long shadow suddenly covered Ma Yin's shadow. Ah Tilda! Ma Yin turned her head subconsciously and immediately saw the thorn that appeared like a ghost. Without hesitation, she raised the pumpkin cannon in her hand and was about to shoot. Rush, too slow. The thorns appeared behind Ma Yin and Tasmi. Both elbows were raised at the same time, and a large number of sharp thorns emerged, facing the heads of the two of them. It was pierced down. What? Realizing that they couldn't dodge. The two screamed. Bang 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 bang! Exclamation mark. The sharp spikes fell to the ground, smashing the floor in the alley to pieces. Exclamation mark. Oh Tilda, Thorn froze for a moment, then turned to look at Plaza Avenue. Luffy retracted her arms, holding Maine with one hand and Tazmi with the other. Hey question mark Tilda no dot 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 not dead. Tatsumi patted his own head, but there was no blood, and he still had the illusion of being reincarnated. Saved. Ma Yin was thrown on the ground and let out a long breath. It's amazing to actually save someone under my hands. Thorn walked out of the alley in a leisurely manner and looked at Luffy. When Luffy was fighting with Zutan and others just now, he actually saw it all. However, being overconfident, he didn't mean to hold hands. In his opinion, the strength of the other three of the Rakshaw four ghosts combined cannot reach his level. He's the only one left. Let's destroy him together. Ma Yin got up from the ground, hugged the pumpkin cannon tightly in her hand, and acted as the commander in chief of the battle temporarily. However, Tilda, Luffy stretched his hands back and sent Main and Tasmi to the alley far away. Don't hold me back. Luffy stared at Thorn, who was slowly coming out of the alley, with very serious eyes. His sense of smell in battle is very keen and he can clearly feel that the aura of this person in front of him is far stronger than those three just now. Drag. Delay. Ma Yin's little face was directly crooked Tilda. Damn guy. We are here to help you. Even if you saved our life just now, don't be so rude Tilda. On the contrary, Tatsumi accepted the reality very much. He sighed, and sat down on the ground. He's right. Our strength simply can't participate in such a battle. If we get close to him, it will become his burden instead. Hey hey hey, Tasmi. I won't allow you to say that. Hearing that even Tasmi said so, Ma Yin stomped her little foot, picked up the pumpkin cannon in her hand, 
and shot in the direction of Thorn. I really don't know what to do. Facing Ma Yin's sniper attack, Jim moved and dodged directly. The next moment, he came to Ma Yin and Tazmi in an instant. R exclamation mark tilde. Seeing that Thorn's elbows transformed into a large number of sharp spikes towards them, Ma Yin let out a scream. Boom. A terrifying shock erupted suddenly. Jim's figure suddenly retreated. And Ma Yin and Tazmi were also hit by Luffy's back and rolled around a few times. I've said it all. Don't drag me back. Why don't you listen? Luffy seemed to be an indestructible defensive shield, standing in front of Main and Tazmi, and saved us again. The corner of Tazmi's mouth twitched. He felt like he had died several times today. Ma Yin was also very depressed. Well exclamation mark tilde I'm really useless. It seems that in order to kill these two wastes, we must first get rid of you. Thorn glanced at Luffy in surprise. After fighting Luffy himself, she has a new understanding of Luffy's strength. It seems that when Zutan was dealt with just now, that was not Luffy's full strength. It's best that you understand this truth. Luffy rubbed his fists, and his figure instantly approached Thorn. Rubber jet gun. He punched out, and the air exploded violently. The speed is much faster than the speed in first gear. Tilda, this speed. Is it too late to dodge? Thorn frowned, and immediately slashed down to block at an extremely fast speed. Bang 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 bang! Exclamation mark. The attacks of the two were almost like phantoms, hitting each other continuously. Quang Quan Temple Acupuncture Assault Rubber Jet Machine Gun Battle Experience Value Plus 666? Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. On top of Luffy's head, experience points kept popping up, boom, boom boom boom, exclamation mark. On the square, the two figures fought together for a while, and separated to attack each other from a distance. With a violent collision, the two rolled backwards. Jik kicked back and stabilized his body, with a playful expression on his face. It seems that our strengths are very close, although it seems that we can't tell the winner for the time being. But such a big movement, the Imperial capital should be very fast. I will send a Tegu envoy. By then, you will be the meat on the chopping board. No, he wants to delay the time until the reinforcements from the Imperial capital arrive. Hearing Thorne's words, Ma Yin hurriedly reminded Luffy. Hey 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 hey, so what if you know? Are you able to leave? If you leave, the two of them will surely die. Thorne's sinister laughter was full of insidiousness, as a veteran killer. He knows how to disrupt the opponent's mood in battle. Of course, what he said was not a lie. With such a big commotion, wouldn't it be a joke if the Imperial capital didn't take any action? In that case, let's get rid of you quickly. Facing Thorn's conspiracy, Luffy remains unmoved. Get rid of me? Ha 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 ha. I saw it clearly just now. In the battle with Zutan, you suddenly used some ability to change gears, which greatly increased your strength. And now, I can feel that your aura is getting weaker and weaker. If I'm not wrong, your strength improvement has a lot of side effects right? It's very difficult for you to maintain such strength now. What else do you want to use to solve me? Please, if you want to lie to me, you are too young. Huff tilde, huff tilde, Luffy gasped heavily. That's right. The other party guessed everything right. Only, you're right. My gear shift does have side effects. Luffy wiped the blood overflowing from the corner of his mouth, staring at Thorn. The corner of his mouth suddenly grinned, but ah, this shift of mine, it has more than just second gear. Question mark. Thorn frowned and suddenly had a bad feeling tilde, sure enough. The next moment, Luffy squatted, with his left thumb in his mouth. Garba, shift dot 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 three, chapter ten the shrew with the mace, bone balloons. As Luffy blew into his fingers suddenly, his left hand was inflated at an exaggerated speed, exclamation mark. In an instant, it soared to the size of a dozen Luffy bodies, hiss. Such a huge balloon fist really made the other three people present have expressions that have never seen the world. Ah, a Hilda, Datsumi was so startled that he couldn't speak. He pointed at Luffy's fist. A Hilda, Tegu, he must be the Tegu envoy. Compared with Tazmi, a country bumpkin, Ma Yin, who also came from a border village, performed much better. Although the practice of Huang Quan Temple allows people to control body changes at will, but it is definitely not possible for a part of one's body to be enlarged to such an exaggerated level in an instant. Apart from Tegushi, there is no other possibility. Outrageous Tilda, looking at the giant fist held high in the air by Luffy, Jia felt numb Tilda. With such a pervert physique, you are actually a Tegushi. Hey! You are really a bit of a naughty kid, although Giz arrogant and arrogant, when faced with this unknown ultimate move. He can't fight it head on. Who knows the power of this blow? He didn't move immediately, but fixed his eyes on the giant fist above. He believes that with his speed, as long as he can clearly see the trajectory of the giant fist falling, he can completely dodge it. Call out. A laser beam shot out. Jiz figure dodged to the left, avoiding Ma Yin's sniper attack. Don't think that if I pay attention to the above. I will ignore your existence. Thorn continued to look at Luffy's giant fist without looking sideways, but spoke to Ma Yin mockingly. But at this moment Tilda, whoosh, he suddenly felt a strong tightening sensation on his neck. Damn it! Exclamation mark. 
Most of the attention is on the giant punch, and a small part of the attention is on the snipers, but it ignores that Luffy has another hand. Rubbler Sue. Luffy's voice came as the elongated rubber arms tightened around Thorn's neck. You idiot, not only will you not be able to strangle me to death, but you will become a target yourself. Feeling the strong pressure from his neck, Thorn immediately laughed out loud after a brief shock. The muscles in his neck attacked with his will. Puff puff puff! Exclamation mark. A large number of muscle needles pierced directly through Luffy's arm, splashing a lot of blood. Ha ha ha, boy, if you are careless, you will lose everything. Now, you can't escape even if you want to. A ferocious laugh emerged from Thorn's mouth, and his two hands suddenly opened, fingers forming the same shape as finger pistol. No doubt he intended to disable Luffy's arm. But when he looked at Luffy, intending to see the despair in his prey's eyes, he was startled. Exclamation mark. Not good. Exclamation mark. His eyes were not despairing eyes. It is not the eyes of negative emotions such as tension and anxiety. It seems there is a kind of pride in the victory tilde. Acupuncture man, you made a mistake. The one who can't escape dot 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 it's you. Boom! Exclamation mark. A terrifying coercion suddenly fell from the sky. Oops! This time, Thorn instantly woke up. Exclamation mark. Luffy didn't expect to subdue him with a rubber suit at all. He pierced Luffy's hand with the muscles of his neck. Probably as Luffy expected. From the very beginning, Luffy just wanted to use this trick to hold back Thorn Tilda. The real killing move is above! Exclamation mark. Boom! Exclamation mark. The huge giant bone balloon fist that was as huge as a hill crashed down, and landed firmly on Jis' head. Although Thorn resisted symbolically, such a huge force hammered on his head, causing his head to shrink fiercely towards his neck. My mind is dark. Boom! Thorn fell to the ground, unconscious. One, seeing Jis fall down. Mayan shouted in surprise and ran over. Hey Tilda, accompanied by the sound of air leakage, the originally large Luffy suddenly shrank like a deflated ball. It didn't stop until it became a smaller version of Luffy, less than half a meter tall. Nanny Tilda, as soon as Tatsumi came over, he saw Luffy lose his temper and staggered in fright. Ah Tilda? Pfft. Mayan's eyes were full of worry, but when she saw the mini Luffy clearly, she was really stunned Tilda. The two ponytails of the smile are trembling wildly. Hey Tilda? Has it gotten smaller? Luffy looked at himself in bewilderment, and muttered, It seems that the side effect of this trick is to shrink. The state just now lasted for about a minute, so the shrinkage should also take about a minute. Fortunately, the crisis is over, and I can breathe a sigh of relief. As soon as he spoke, Luffy felt a change in the surrounding scene. Cool. The sea breeze blows on the face. Withdrew from the world of comic books again. He turned to the next page tilde. In the album. Ma Yin and Tazmi quickly fled the scene, and the hearts of Zutan and Jihu fell on the ground were pierced. Obviously, Main and Tazmi have a good habit of making up the knife. There is one more chance to go in today. Let's use it up. Just as I was about to go in, there was a gurgling sound in my stomach. Immediately afterwards, a strong sense of hunger hit Tilda. Ah! Let's fill our stomachs first. Luffy put the comic book in his arms and ran to the cabin. Um, the bottom of the slipper and the deck came to a sudden stop. Luffy stopped and turned his head to the right Tilda, in the field of vision. A pirate ship came rapidly. Stop. This ship is mine. On the bow of the pirate ship, a burly shrew with a mace pointed towards Luffy, roaring like thunder. Chapter 11 Alveda has reverse scales, touching them will kill you. Hey Tilda, Luffy's daily question mark face. After he was in a daze for a while, the other party's pirate ship had already approached. Boom Tilda. The two ships collided. Oh shit Tilda. In the cabin, Liu Olan's paintbrush was deflected making a scratch on the paper. This paper is wasted. What is this guy Luffy doing? Feeling depressed, he tore up the piece of waste paper. With a thought, Liu Olan automatically put the brush into his portable space. Check out your properties, good guy. The defense and speed are really getting higher and higher, and there is nothing else tilde. I checked the system log classification interface again, and there was nothing in it. But, what Liu Olan didn't notice was that in the drop-down box of the log category interface, there was a finer division, including a system email category. This email interface was updated with an email. Today, your manga fan Monkey D. Luffy has improved his strength in the world of the manga, Zantong, and the development of Rubber Fruit has reached the third level. You simultaneously obtain the third level ability of its Rubber Fruit. Receive it while waiting for the host to check the mail. Question mark. The boat is moving, isn't Luffy demolishing the house? After thinking for a while, Liu Olan turned off the system interface and walked outside. On deck tilde, Luffy looked at a group of uninvited guests who came up, and tilted his head. Are you trying to rob, boy? You're smart. Jump off here. This boat belongs to the most beautiful woman in East Blue. A pirate pointing a knife at Luffy arrogantly, ordered, The most beautiful woman in East Blue? Question mark. This time, Luffy was even more confused. He swayed his head from side to side and searched for a while. Where is it? Why didn't I see it? Bastard. Blind your dog eyes. Miss Alveda, the most beautiful woman in East Blue, is standing right in front of you, 
and you can't see it, stupid, this is the most beautiful woman in East Blue, look carefully, you know the reason for your death before you die, dot. The pirates chatted and introduced to Luffy, of course, what appears to be an introduction to Luffy is actually a courtship to Alveda, they don't want to give each of them a stick because of Alveda's anger, Nanny Tilda, although Luffy is a ha-ha, his basic logical thinking is normal, and he understands what everyone wants to express, pointing at Alveda with a look of disbelief, he said in disbelief, is this the savage aunt you're talking about, what, exclamation mark. As soon as these words came out, all the pirates present widened their eyes suddenly, and their jaws all fell to the ground, wild, savage aunt, hiss, after the shock, comes the fear from the heart, boy, if we are implicated in Alveda's wrath, we greet your eighth ancestor, exclamation mark. The atmosphere on the entire deck seemed to suddenly become gloomy, and even the temperature seemed to drop a few degrees out of thin air. Alveda has reverse scales, if you touch it, you will die, you little brat, die to me. With an angry face full of fat, Alveda raised the mace in his hand without hesitation, and slammed it at Luffy's head. Say this beauty is an aunt? Question mark. Then the aunt will let you see your own brains! Exclamation mark. Boom! The mace fell heavily on top of Luffy's head, but Alveda's eyes really widened! Exclamation mark. Instead of seeing Luffy's brain, she saw Luffy's smile. What? He he, this won't work for me, because I'm a rubber man. Under the brim of the straw hat, Luffy's big white fang leaked out. It's my turn. Rubbing his shoulders, Luffy's arms stretched back. Then, under the astonished gazes of everyone, it was like a cannonball hit Alveda's stomach. You know Tilda. In the original comics, even Luffy, who just went out to sea, can knock Alveda into the air. And now, this is Luffy, who has been leveled up in the instance of, slashing pupils! Exclamation mark. Although he didn't use second gear, let's not forget that his Haki prototype is also upgraded. Even if it can't be embodied in the form of armament Haki, the prototype of Haki can still improve his strength. With one punch, Alveda's eyeballs were about to pop out. Next second Tilda, boom. Under such a huge force, the huge body directly soared into the sky, drew a beautiful trajectory, and disappeared from everyone's sight. What? The hand. The hand has become. Miss Alveda was blown away. His demon fruit power. Dot. The little guys who had relied on Alveda's fox and fake tiger power all changed their faces in fright at this moment, and quickly knelt down, begging for mercy. Boom, the hatch was pushed open, and Liu Olan came out. Huh? What happened? At first I thought it was Luffy who was demolishing the house, but I didn't expect it to be so lively on the deck. Glancing to the sky, Liu Olan wondered, did something fly out just now? Dot. The corners of the pirate's mouths twitched tilde. Huh? Liu Olan, are you out? Luffy rubbed his fists with an optimistic smile on his face. These guys want to rob us, I just took care of their boss, forgive me, we were also forced, leave us alone, we will never be pirates again, dot. The pirates paid for mercy again, okay, let's go, Luffy doesn't have any fancy ideas, as long as he doesn't bother him, he doesn't care, ah, thank you, brother, thank you for your mercy, let's go now, dot. Wait a moment, at this time, Liu Olan's words directly raised the hearts of these pirates to their throats again. He held out two fingers. First, since it's a pirate ship, it's a fight just now. It's fine to leave, and you have to keep all the treasures on board. Second, we need someone who knows how to sail and guide us to the next island. Although Luffy has the aura of the protagonist, but if you completely rely on Luffy to grasp the direction, I always feel a little unreliable tilde, as Filio Land tilde. Then don't count on it. Now that we have met someone, it is a good time to solve this problem. After meetings are at the next stop. The next journey should develop according to the original plot tilde. Liu Olan doesn't want to have any extraneous things, just hope that the plot will follow the original line, so that he can lie down safely. Me. I know some sailing. Among the crowd, a small man with a parted head and glasses stood up and shouted. Judging from the sweat on his head and his flushed face, his shout obviously mustered the courage of several lifetimes tilde. He was captured by these pirates and became a handyman of the ship. He always wanted to escape, but under the shadow of Alveda, he didn't even have the courage to escape. Now seeing Alveda being blown away with his own eyes, he knows that if he doesn't seize this opportunity, he will never be free. So when Liu Olan said that he needed a person who knew how to sail, he desperately grabbed this life-saving straw. Okay, it's you. Liu Olan glanced at it. It turned out to be Kirby, and he was very happy immediately. In the original comic plot, Luffy was able to reach Shield's town because of Kirby's navigation. But now, because of Liu Olan's cutting of the beard, Luffy failed to meet Kirby. So Liu Olan and Luffy were floating in the sea. So now that Kebi has appeared, the plot is obviously going to get back on track. Comfortable! Exclamation mark. Everything is back to normal, and I can continue to lie down in peace tilde. Chapter 12 It's just a comic, it should be a parting gift. After moving all the treasures to Liu Olan's boat, Alveda's minions sailed away as if fleeing. Thank you so much. On the deck, 
Quebec out out to Olan and Luffy on the ground. It wasn't until it was confirmed that Alveda's ship had really left that Kebby dared to relax a little bit. What are you doing Tilda? Luffy had question marks all over his face. You are my saviors, thanks to meeting you, I can escape from Alveda's shadow. Kirby looked up at Luffy, a flattering and thankful smile on his face. As soon as these words came out, Luffy said that he was even more confused. He scratched his head. Since you don't want to stay with her, why don't you just find a chance to escape? Run away dot 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 run away? No dot 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 no. No, no, impossible. No way. Every time I think of Miss Alveda's Vajra rod, I dot 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 my, my, my legs go limp. It seemed that some terrible memories had been brought back. Kirby, who was able to communicate normally, even stuttered. His head was sweating profusely, and his expression was filled with horror. Ah, it's terrible. His head was almost shaking like a rattle. Kebby was in a panic. Seeing Kebby's appearance, Luffy put his hands on his hips, and said with a sincere smile, Well, you are really stupid and useless, and you are also cowardly, I hate you. Kebby's face was full of meat tilde. Please, why do you smile so sincerely when you say such hurtful things? Yes, cowardly people have no future. Kebby, don't you have any ideals? At this time, Liu Olan spoke. Li dot 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 ideal. Kebby opened his mouth, glanced at the pirate flag hanging on the mast and hesitated to speak. Don't even dare to say your own ideals? Then you are really hopeless. Liu Olan rested his chin, and shook his head a little resentfully. I used to know that Kebi is cowardly from comics. But now I see it with my own eyes, and I understand that using the word cowardly to describe Kebi may be an insult to cowardly. This is really mud that can't support the wall. His words seemed to stimulate Kebi's last nerve called courage. Hatilda, Hatilda. Kebi took a deep breath, clenched his fist vigorously, a self-deprecating smile suddenly appeared on his face and he said bitterly, can someone like me join Marine? Marine? Luffy froze for a moment. Yes, although I will become enemies with you, but as a Marine, I will become stronger and catch all the bad guys. Speaking of this, Kebby was full of blood, sweating and crying, and shouted at the two people in front of him with an aura he had never used before. This is my dream since I was a child. Look, it's actually not that difficult to shout out your dreams Tilda. Liu Olan walked up to Kebby, smiled and patted his shoulder. Ha Tilda, ha Tilda. Yeah, I feel much happier when I say it. The fear of Alveda in my heart seems to be reduced. As if the two channels of Ren and Du were opened at once, Kebby felt that his breathing became smooth there. Actually, if you have the courage, it is not difficult to realize your dreams. If I remember correctly, the Marine base closest to here should be in Shield Town. When you get there, join the Marine. More than half of your ideals have been realized. As for the next road, it depends on you. Gone. With a character like Kebby, Liu Lan had no intention of pulling him into the group. Moreover, it is the captain's decision to recruit people into the team. If there are no special circumstances, Liu Olan does not want to break the plot direction. If one of them is not done right, a butterfly effect is produced, and the straw hats are all cool, then wouldn't he also lie down and cool off? Really? Not long ago. He was still a slave on Alveda's ship, and now he is about to realize his dream? Kebby couldn't believe this fact Tilda. But he thought about it Tilda. Yes, the town of Shields is not far from here, and when he arrives in Shields town, as long as he joins the marine, he no longer has to worry about Alveda chasing him. You are right, Liu Olan's benefactor. Kebai's confidence increased a lot, but the next moment his face showed worry again. But, are you willing to send me to Shields Town? Liu Olan shrugged, as long as you can drive this ship to Shields Town, we will send you there. I'm not going to tell you, we're both sailing idiots. Hearing this, Kebi was excited, no problem, this bag is on me. Dot. In the control cabin, Kebby carefully observed the ocean current while controlling the ship. I found it. It's this ocean current. As long as you go straight along this stream, you will soon reach Shield Town. After confirming the course, Kebby fixed the rudder. Next, no action is required until arriving at the port. I don't know what Luffy and Liu Olan are doing. There is no need to control it for the time being, and Kirby immediately thought of Luffy and Liu Olan. After all, this was the first good guy he had met since he grew up. When I came to the deck, I saw Luffy looking at something. Ah. Damn it, can't handle that bastard, I'll go in again. Hey, I just remembered, it was the last chance for today. Ugh, it seems that we can only wait for tomorrow. Luffy yelled in frustration. Luffy, are you reading comics Tilda? Kirby moved his head closer and his eyes fell on the comic book in Luffy's hand. I was a little curious for a while, and asked cautiously, can you let me see it? That won't work. I still need this comic for important things. If you lose it, I will be in trouble. Luffy waved his hand and refused directly. Oh, Kebby didn't dare to say anything more. He was about to leave timidly, but he heard Luffy's hearty voice. But, if you want to read comics, you can go to Liu Lan. He has drawn a lot of comics, there must be something you like. Is this drawn by Liu Lan? Of course, he's a cartoonist. Really? Liu Lan is amazing. Well, you don't need to say this. Go, I will take you to him. With that said, 
Luffy took Kebby and went into the cabin. Soon, the two came to Liu Olan's studio. Luffy, stopping the paintbrush in his hand, Liu Olan said suspiciously, You don't think you want another comic, do you? Hasn't a copy of, Zutong, cut off your interest yet? Luffy shook his head, a number. It's Kirby. He also wants to read comics, so I'll bring him to you. So that's the way it is, Kebby. You can choose one yourself. Liu Olan readily agreed. As a cartoonist. Liu Olan would feel very proud if more people read his cartoons. Although Liu Olan was preventing Luffy from coming to his studio, it was only because he was worried that Luffy would tear down his studio, not because he didn't want to show Luffy comics. Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Kebby was very grateful, and when he came to the bookshelf, he didn't dare to choose too much, just took one at random and hurriedly returned it. Oh, that's right, Kirby, this comic is for you. Seeing Luffy and Kebby going out. Liu Olan suddenly thought that he would be separated from Kebai soon when he arrived in Shield Town. Although Kebi's character is not pleasing, since he wants to read Liu Olan's comics, it shows that he has vision. It's just a comic, it's a parting gift tilde. However, when these words came out, Kebi was very moved. He has never received a gift from others since he was a child, and now he is not only rescued by Liu Olan, but also gave him comics tilde. Thank you, Liu Olan, I promise, I will keep this manga well, in my heart. Kebby has nothing to say Tilda. This is a symbol of our friendship. However, he couldn't say it because he was afraid that he was not worthy of talking about friendship with Liu Olan. But our Tilda, no matter what you think in your heart, I, Kebby, will always remember your kindness. Chapter 13 My wife Shania is your senior brother. When he came to the cabin, Kebby carefully took out the comic book in his arms. Book title? Ghost Slayer, My Wife Shania. After watching the first episode, Kebby was fascinated, because he found that the protagonist of this comic, My Wife Shania, is very similar to him in character, both timid and timid. Wow, no, I thought Shania was as timid as me. Unexpectedly, he is even more timid than me. Ah ha ha he's so cute. If he wasn't a character in the comics, I would definitely be able to become good friends with him. Watching, Kirby laughed heartily. Bastard, these guys actually bully girls? It's over, it's over, the coward Shania is the only one around these two girls. These bastards should succeed, right? Dot. Looking at the plot in the comics, Kebby felt very uncomfortable. He knew that if it was him himself, he would definitely not dare to make a move. What's more, Shania who is more timid than him Tilda, there. The fate of these two girls should be miserable, right? With such an uncomfortable mood, Kirby turned to the next page. But when the picture on the next page appeared in front of his eyes, Kebby was shocked. Nah. Nanny. Kebby couldn't believe that the boy who was obviously more cowardly than him actually stood up. Exclamation mark. He fought desperately with the bad guys, and despite being covered in bruises, he was finally knocked out. But he stood up. Exclamation mark. Kebby felt his cheeks burn hot. Exclamation mark. Just now he thought my wife Shania was more cowardly than him Tilda. But now, Shania slapped Kebby hard with his actual actions. Make him understand. Shania's a pure man. Exclamation mark. And the clown is only you. Kebby was depressed for a long time before continuing to look down. When he saw the former Naruto Sangshima Sigura repay the debt for Shania and accepted him as his apprentice, Kebby showed envious eyes. How wonderful it would be if I could meet such a person Tilda. Crash. Uh, the howling of wild wolves clearly appeared in my ears Tilda. The lingering mountain wind violently slapped Kebby's face, and the touch was extremely clear. What dot 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 how dot 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 what happened? For a moment of bewilderment, Kebby looked around. When he saw my wife Shania, who was practicing in the cold wind and Jigura Sangshima, who was standing aside and carefully guiding him, he was completely stunned, exclamation mark. Shan, Shan, rubbing his eyes vigorously, Kebby thought he was hallucinating, then he slapped himself again, the hallucinations haven't gone away Tilda, no, this is not an illusion, exclamation mark. Who are you, Jigura Kiwashima looked at Kebby, a little surprised, after all, he is the former Naruto of the ghost killing team, so powerful, needless to say, however, when the little guy in front of him appeared, he didn't feel anything before. It is a good seedling. I. I I I. My name is Kirby. Suddenly encountering this situation, Kebby panicked even more. Little guy, what are you doing here? Jigura Kiwashima became interested in Kebby and walked over slowly. He looked at Kebby's fearful and cowardly look. Wasn't he carved out of the same mold as my wife Shania? Moreover, to be able to follow here without the old man noticing, this is a talent. Do. Do. Yeah, what am I doing here? Ah, uh, no, I have no idea how I got here. Kebby was full of fear, not knowing what to say. Hey, do you also want to learn art? At this time, my wife Shani asked curiously. Apart from wanting to learn art, I really can't think of any other reason for being able to follow this deep mountain. Assassination? Stop it. Looking at it like this, you can tell it's impossible at a glance. Ah, Tilda? Learning art? Hearing what my wife Shani said, Kebby was taken aback for a moment. But then, a strong desire welled up in his heart. Exclamation mark. 
Yes, how wonderful it would be if I could also learn out from this old man. I dot 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 can I do it too? The lack of self-confidence from the inside out is shown on the face. Little guy, as long as you want to learn, of course you can. Kiwashi Majigra came to Kirby, with a kind smile on his face. He stretched out his hand to Kirby. Would you like to be my apprentice? Ah, I wish, I am willing. He was so flattered that Kebi's heart almost jumped out of his throat. Ah ha 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 This is really good. Jigoro Kiwashima pulled Kebi up, and he was in a great mood. My wife Shania also ran over. Ha ha, let me introduce myself. My name is my wife Shania, and I am your senior brother. Well, my name is Kirby. Thank you. Feeling the feeling of being valued by others, Kebi's tears flowed down immediately. Chapter 14 Shield Town The next day Tilda, Luffy got up early and went to the deck, stretched his waist, and planned to enter the world of Zantong. But at this moment, Kirby's shout came. Here we are. We have arrived at Shield Town. Have you arrived yet? Let me see. Luffy stretched out his hand to build a pergola in front of his eyes, and looked towards the bow of the ship. Sure enough, the prototype of an island has appeared ahead. Great. The pirate hunter you mentioned is here, right? When chatting with Kirby yesterday, Luffy learned from Kirby that in this sea, there is a powerful swordsman named Roronoa Zora, who is a bounty hunter by profession and specializes in catching pirates in exchange for bounties. When learning that there is such a powerful guy, Luffy's first reaction is, This person, I want it! Exclamation mark. If he hadn't escaped, he must still be there. When he was on the Alveda, Kirby read in the newspaper that Roronoa Zora had been captured by Shield Town Marine. It should have been several days. Great, I can't wait. Rubbing his hands together, Luffy was excited. Suddenly, he turned his head to look at Kirby, tilting his head. You seem to have become more confident. When a person changes, the most undisguised thing is that confidence. Luffy could tell right away. Ah, Tilda. Kebby chuckled, and then said calmly, Well, Luffy, do you know? I encountered a very miraculous thing. I actually got into the comic book that Liu Olan gave me yesterday. Exclamation mark. I met two people inside, and even worshipped one of the old grandfathers as my teacher. There is also a young man who is as timid and cowardly as me. He is my senior brother. I feel that I have a very similar personality with him. Dot. Thinking of the adventure he had while reading comics yesterday, Kirby's words flowed like a torrential river. Suddenly, he realized that he seemed to have been talking for a long time, and stopped immediately. I know, it must be difficult for you to believe what I said, but this is what really happened. Ah ha ha I believe what you said, because I also entered the comic world. What? Did you go in too? Of course. This is a cartoon drawn by Liu Olan, of course you can enter it. Luffy explained by relying on his own imagination. Kirby suddenly realized, is this so? So. Liu Olan actually knows that we have entered the comic world, that's for sure. Luffy seemed to have figured everything out. He patted Kebby on the shoulder and said, Liu Olan is a manga fruit capable man. His manga has magical powers. I think he made me manga, it's just tailor made for me. Exactly, as if he had found a confidant. All of a sudden, Kebby nodded again and again. Yes, this comic book I took is also super suitable for me. It is just specially drawn for me. To tell you the truth, I was still thinking about whether to ask what about Liu Olan. No use it. Luffy understood again. With his hips on his hips, he looked like he was pointing out. Let me tell you, I've already done what you want to do. As a result Tilda, before I even opened my mouth, Liu Olan knew everything. So, you asking will only delay his drawing time. Ah ha ha yes, I'm so stupid. Since Liu Olan's manga has such a magical ability, how could he not know about it? I'm really grateful to him. Kebby scratched his head and said embarrassedly. Then, he turned his head to look towards the bow of the ship and the island was already in front of him. Here we are. Do you want to call Liu Olan to get off the boat together? That's a must. Luffy took a stride, loosened his muscles, and rushed into the cabin with a whoosh. Is this the island where Shields Town is located? Tilda called out by Luffy. Liu Olan stood at the bow of the boat and looked at the coastline that was getting closer and closer. Speaking of which, it's a bit sad Tilda. It has been a year since time travel, and this is the first time Liu Olan has seen the land of Pirate World. The tall croaking tree and the huge marine base, which belong to the unique landscape style of One Piece World, suddenly rush forward Tilda. I have to say that Liu Olan likes this style very much. Marine Base East Blue Sub Base. Branch 153 is located on this island. What do you hear Tilda? Here is the Marine Base, which represents justice, so the lives of the people should be very healthy. But in fact Tilda, as the base commander of this base, Colonel Munker, is a guy who was once teased by the captain of the Black Cat Pirates, Beiji Crow. In a naval conflict between Marine and Pirate, Munker became the only survivor. Beiji Crow uses his hypnosis technique to turn Munker into a tool man, so that Beiji Crow can escape from his shell and become a dead person. As for Munker, Fake Crow was arrested and promoted to base chief of Section 153, then began his tyranny over this place. Not only are the civilians on the entire island living under the shadow of his rule, but even the Marine soldiers are worried every day because if they don't pay attention, they may be hacked and killed by Munker at will.
According to Kebby's information, Zora should be locked in the marine base at this time. Let's go. Find that man named Rora Noah Zora. Luffy grinned and jumped off the boat first. Come on, let's get off the boat too. Leo Lance said, and walked down the string bridge. Kirby followed suit. Home. Library. Profile. History. User settings. About us. Great voyage. The cartoonist of the Straw Hats. Report. 6%. Chapter 15 This is the conversation between the future One Piece and the world's number one swordsman in the future. Can't you see it a bit? After setting foot on the ground of Shield Town, the three of them first went to fill their stomachs, and then came to the vicinity of Branch 153. Liu Olan looked up at the tall marine base building. The body of the building is like a bunker, with green camouflage stripes and cannons on the top, which seems to be full of a strong sense of oppression. Since the pirate hunter named Zora has been caught here, I'll climb up to have a look first. Walking to the wall, Luffy reached out his hand. Whoosh! The attributes of the rubber man allowed him to climb up the wall immediately. Hey Tilda, I seem to have found it. As soon as he got on the wall, Luffy let out a surprise, and then he stretched out his hands and pulled Liu Olan and Kebby up. Three people sat in a row on the wall. What? Kebby wasn't ready yet. When he caught sight of the man in the middle of the square, he uttered a horrified cry and fell off the wall. Luffy looked confused. What's the matter? Kebby? Black. Black hood, green girdle, really dot 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 really Rora no Zora. Okay dot 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 so intimidating, then dot 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 that's Zora. Although Kebby's strength has improved somewhat, he has not reached the level of transformation after all. The moment he saw Zora's face clearly, the cowardice in his heart was aroused again. Is he really the pirate hunter Zora you mentioned? But it seems that the rope is easy to break. Luffy became more and more puzzled. Isn't it said that Zora is a devilish pirate hunter? How could he be tied up with such a thin rope and be helpless? Don't be kidding. If you let that guy escape, not only will the people in the town be in bad luck, but even you will be killed. Kebai still knows Shield's town very well, and he knows how terrifying Colonel Munko is. But at this moment, Zora, who was tied to the cross, raised his head. Hey, boy over there, come and help me. Untie this rope, please. I have been tied for nine days, and I am too tired gone. Speak dot 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 speak. Kebby, who had just climbed up again, shrank his head subconsciously when he heard Zora's words. Look, that guy is smiling. Luffy sat with his legs up and his legs up, watching curiously with his chin resting on his hands. Luffy, didn't you say you wanted to lure him into the gang? Why don't you go over there? Liu Olan reminded. Luffy remained unmoved. Kirby said he was a big devil, so I haven't figured it out yet. Just as he was talking. A wooden ladder leaned against the wall next to the three of them. Then a little girl climbed up. S-H-H. The little girl made a silent gesture to the three, and then slid down the fence. Kebby shouted nervously. Hey, hey, what is she going to do? Get close to that person and she will be killed. I don't think so. Liu Olan said with certainty. Why? Luffy turned his head and asked curiously. Liu Olan shrugged. As you know, I am a cartoonist, so my ability to associate is very strong. Judging from this scene, I guess this little girl is here to repay her kindness. Repaying kindness? Impossible? Kirby looked suspiciously. That is the pirate hunter known as the devil! Exclamation mark. What kindness could he do to a little girl? Don't believe me? Then let's ask. With that said, Liu Olan jumped off the fence and followed the little girl towards Zora. Although he has no output, his speed and defense are ridiculously high. There is nothing to say about self-preservation ability. R? Do you want to go in? Seeing Liu Olan go in, Kebby was immediately deserted. Hey hey, Luffy. Why don't you? Seeing that Luffy followed suit, Kirby almost cried. He looked left and right, finally mustered up the courage, and followed. You are looking for death, brat. Get out of here. Zora glanced at the little girl who came to him, and said fiercely. However, the little girl seemed indifferent to his fake ruthlessness. Her dark eyes were full of light. I made rice balls for you. The big brother has been tied up all the time. He must be very hungry. I said I'm not hungry. Hurry up and take the things away. Zora yelled again. Luffy's face became gloomy, and he rubbed his arms. I want to punch someone now. Wait. Don't you want to ask why this little girl brought Zora food first? Liu Olan grabbed Luffy's face and pulled him back. It seems reasonable. Luffy froze for a moment, then looked at the little girl. Why are you giving him rice balls? Don't blame him. The big brother is actually a good guy. Immediately, the little girl began to talk incessantly. It turned out that about ten days ago, the wolf raised by Colonel Munker's bully son Bumbo almost bit the little girl. Zora comes to the rescue, kills the wolf, and beats Bumbo. Originally, Zora could just leave. But Bimbo threatened Zora, if Zora dared to leave, he would take revenge on the little girl's family afterwards. So Zora reached an agreement with Bimbo, as long as he voluntarily tied to the cross for a month, then the account will be written off. Nanny, after figuring out the truth, Luffy's anger just now disappeared suddenly, and then walked up to Zora. Hey, you kid, why are you staring at me? Zora's eyes were still fierce. Luffy looked at Zora, and came out with a big mouthful of white fang. Hello, my name is Luffy, I will untie your rope and be my partner. Ah, Tilda? Luffy. He is a notorious devil. He didn't expect Luffy to be so direct at all, and Kirby hurriedly reminded him in fright. However, 
Liu O lands palm directly pressed Kirby's head, pushing him down. Please Tilda. This is the conversation between the future One Piece and the world's number one swordsman in the future, can't you see it with some insight? Chapter 16 In front of Luffy, are you worthy of being a father? Hot Hilda, pirates? Please, I won't degenerate into being a bad guy. As soon as he heard that there were pirates who wanted to recruit him, Zoro refused without any hesitation. What's wrong with being a pirate? This is my ideal. Luffy spread his hands, and changed the topic. Besides, what does it matter if you are a pirate? Anyway, you have already been regarded as a villain. I'm different from you. You can find a partner elsewhere. Even if you don't help me untie the rope, I can survive, as long as I can stay here for a full month. Zoro shook his head. In his cognition, pirates are garbage tilde. Otherwise, he wouldn't have caught so many pirates. M. Luffy holds his chin with one hand tilde. It seems a bit difficult to handle tilde. Why can't I learn from Liu Olan? Yes in seconds. As soon as Luffy thought about Liu Olan, Liu Olan said, Luffy, you idiot, don't mind. As soon as these words came out, Zoro immediately exploded. Exclamation mark. Hey, that bastard, what are you talking about? Yeah, Liu Olan, how did you find out he was a fool? Luffy was also curious. Didn't he just say that? As long as he stays for a full month that Brumebo will let him go. To believe that kind of person, what is it not to be a fool? Liu Olan explained calmly. Luffy thought for a while, then nodded, that's right. That guy can threaten Zoro with the lives of innocent civilians, how could he be a man of his word? Hearing what the two said, Zoro's heart skipped to beat Tilda. It seems, it's really not very reliable, but he has persisted for nine days, and he is always unwilling to admit that he is a fool. Impossible. I made an agreement with him, as long as I live for thirty days, my account with him will be cancelled, with a hint of stubbornness. Zoro retorted, yo Tilda. It's so lively here. At this moment, the iron gate of the square opened, and a dandy younger man with bob hair came in swaggeringly with a few marine soldiers. Don't move. Have you seen this sign? It's written very clearly, as long as anyone who dares to help the prisoner is an accomplice. Bumbo pointed to the notice board next to him and explained with dancing. After finishing speaking, he looked at the little girl with a hippie smile, including the little girl Tilda. Liu Olan looked back Tilda. Very good, the landlord's silly son is here Tilda. Just come to assist. He opened his mouth and asked, Hey, Bellumbo, you never planned to let Zoro go from the beginning. Did you? Ha question mark Tilda how dare you speak to this young master in such a tone. Bumbo frowned, squinted at Liu Olan, and then a crazy smile appeared on his face. Ha 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 ha. But you are right. This idiot was so foolish as to believe my words and willingly got tied up in this square for nine days. Actually, I plan to execute him in three days before he is about to starve to death, and let him know what will happen to offending this young master. Well, there are you. It's also a capital crime. Boom! Exclamation mark. Luffy's fist landed on Bellumbo's face, and suddenly a few teeth burst out from Brumbo's mouth, flying freely into the air. Tilda withdrawing his fist, Luffy put his hands on his hips and looked at Bellumbo who was lying on the ground. Liu Olan is indeed right. You guy has been fooling Zora from the beginning. Zora's eyes widened. Ah, oh, hello, Tilda. Don't define me so quickly. Okay? Exclamation mark. Bellumbo shook his head and the little stars in front of him slowly dissipated. He molded his own mouth, and suddenly shouted in shock and anger, Ah, how dare you hit me, kill them for me, boom, 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 boom. As soon as several marine soldiers raised their guns, Luffy's fist landed on their faces, knocking them to the ground. Berumebo was dumbfounded, but then, he yelled fiercely, I will tell my dad, you are dead, snapped. Stepping down with one foot, all of Bumbo's facial features were stepped together. This time, it's not Luffy. But Liu Olan, Liu Olan walked up to Bumbo and knelt down slowly, looking at Tai Hanhan with a nosebleed in front of him. Liu Olan pointed to his head and said flatly, "In front of Luffy, are you worthy of being a father, Tilda? Wait, Liu Olan, don't be impulsive. His father is Colonel Munker, the most powerful person in Shield Town." Kebi held Liu Olan to prevent him from impulsively causing an irreparable situation. Hearing what Kebi said, Bumbo also became terrified. That's right. My father is Colonel Marine. He is the absolute master of the entire Shields town. You are dead. Dot. Liu Olan looked at Tai Hanhan with some sympathy, and shook his head slightly. You, you are a frog in a well. The father of a mere Colonel Marine can make you so arrogant. Too lazy to explain anything to the second ancestor. Liu Olan raised his head and punched Bumebra unconscious. Fight father? My captain's grandpa is naval headquarters vice admiral. Here Garp. Do you see how proud I am? Chapter 17 Master taught me. Breath of Thunder, you guys are really brave. Speaking of which, if you are not pirates, I would like you a little bit. Seeing Luffy and Liu Olan take action to clean up Bumebo one after another, Zoro's view of the two has changed. It's just that I still can't get over the hurdle for pirates in my heart. It's like a pig butcher who has killed pigs for so many years. Suddenly one day, a pig ran up to him and said, Hey, butcher, 
Be my partner. Do you think this butcher is willing? Only. This time I encountered a persistent pig. I like you too. Be my partner. Luffy invited Zoro again without the interruption of Boomerba. Like I said, I still have my own things to do. Who would want to be a bad guy like a pirate? What's more, I have never done anything against my beliefs, and I won't do the same in the future. Zoro still flatly refused. I don't care. Anyway. I have decided to let you be my partner. Luffy looked harmless. Do not listen to the bastard chanting Sutra's tilde. Anyway, I want you. Nanny tilde? Zoro's facial features gradually deformed. Hey, don't make up your own mind. By the way, I heard that you are good at knives, isn't it? As if he didn't see Zoro's expression of wanting to eat people, Luffy crossed his hands and asked calmly. Yes, if I hadn't been tied up, I would really know. And what about the knife? It was taken by that bastard. Zoro pouted at Belluma who was lying on the ground. As soon as he thought of Dideoi's words. Kyuina's heroic figure emerged in Zoro's mind, and he gritted his teeth and said, That is a treasure that I regard as precious as life. Oh. Baby. That's important. A hey smile suddenly appeared on Fairui Wubo's face, and Luffy grinned. Okay, I'll help you get the knife back from this bastard. Oh, thank you. I will remember this favor. Zoro nodded, grateful that it involved his knife. Luffy grabbed Bumbo on the ground and lifted him to his feet, crackling. A burst of crisp and melodious applause passed by, and Bumbo slowly woke up. Hey. Did you take Zoro's knife? Me. Bumbo paused for a moment, then nodded in a daze. I took it. Okay, take me to get the knife. After getting the answer, Luffy ran to the marine base building with Bumbo. That's right. If you want a knife, you have to be my partner. After running two steps, Luffy turned around and said something to Zoro. Hey Tilda. Hearing this, Zoro was taken aback for a moment, and then his facial features became hysterical. Hey, you are so despicable. Okay, since you agreed, I'll go right away. Luffy seemed to answer into the air and then ran off grabbing Bumbo. Nanny? Question mark. Zoro was stunned. He hastily shouted, Hey, don't go. You agreed. However, Luffy ran away without looking back. That guy isn't going to just break into Marine Base, is he? Aren't you going to stop him? Suddenly thought of something, Zoro quickly reminded Leo Lan. That's Marine Base. If one breaks in, isn't that death? Leo Lan smiled. Look, you really care about your partner, don't you? Partner? Zoro opened his mouth wide. Hey, you one by one. Don't define me indiscriminately. Okay, I can't be a partner with pirates. Leave your captain alone, if you don't stop him, you will there is no captain. Ha ha, are you worried about your own captain Tilda? Patting Zora on the shoulder, Liu Olan said with a smile, I understand your duplicity Tilda, I'll go and have a look. Although Luffy is very strong, Liu Olan thinks it is better to look at the matter of breaking into the marine building alone. At least with him around, Luffy can be insured, soon, under the wailing of Bimbo. The two disappeared at the front gate, huh? Luffy and Liu Olan broke in. Kebby seemed to have a relatively long nerve reflex arc, so he suddenly said in surprise at this moment. Zoro nodded. Yeah, those two guys are just messing around. But when he saw Kebby's actions, he immediately reminded. Hey, if you untie my rope, you will die too. Kebby's face struggled, but he continued to untie the rope, gritted his teeth and said, They have no reason to arrest you. I can't stand Marine like this. In the future, I must become an upright Marine. Just like Luffy wants to become One Piece. What? One Piece? Dot. Are you kidding me? Zoro made a shocked expression. Boom! Exclamation mark. At this moment, a bullet pierced through Kebby in an instant. What exclamation mark? With a scream, Kebby fell to the ground. How dare you disobey Colonel Menka's order and want to rescue the pirate hunter? A few marine soldiers rushed out from the short door on the side, pointed their guns at the three remaining people at the execution scene. Ah! I got shot. I'm bleeding. Am I going to die? Kebby was lying on the ground covering his body with blood on his hands. His face was full of despair. Dot, you are still alive. Zoro was speechless. This person was too cowardly. Suddenly he realized something, turned his face away, and shouted to Kebby, get up, and run with her. Run? Colonel Munker has already noticed this matter. None of you want to run away, including this little girl. The marine soldiers scolded. Big brother, let me untie the rope for you. The little girl has no accurate judgment of danger. She only knows that saving her big brother is dangerous and she wants to save him. Stop. This is a capital offense. A marine soldier yelled and aimed his gun at the little girl. Seeing the little girl reach out, Zora yelled, No. They will shoot. However, the little girl didn't intend to stop at all. Her little hand had already grasped the knot. Ka 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 ka. The sound of the safety lock being open was crisp and clear. The muzzle of the black hole aimed at the little girl's back. Ah. Give me the knife. Zora was really anxious. He yelled at Kirby. Knife. Knife. Kebai's mind was confused at this moment. He subconsciously stretched out his hand, and touched the scabbard of a marine soldier who fell beside him just now. Knife, knife, exclamation mark. Ah Tilda, I can use a knife too, exclamation mark. Damn it, how dare you ignore Colonel Munker's order. Even a little girl can't be tolerated, otherwise Colonel Munker will kill us. One last warning, dot. 
Not good. I want to save her. Kebby didn't care about the pain of being shot through, and his face was extremely anxious. Breathe, breathe. Yes, Master taught me. Breath of thunder. Stubborn. Shoot. After warning twice, one of the Marines gritted his teeth and ordered. But at this moment, exclamation mark. Rush, exclamation mark. A flash of white light tilde, like a thunderbolt crossing the border. Bang 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 bang, exclamation mark. Several marine soldiers lost consciousness before they could react to what happened. Chapter 18 What? You just started learning sword yesterday? Bang 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 bang, exclamation mark. Zora looked dumbfounded as the marine soldiers fell to the ground, exclamation mark. His mouth was so wide that his jaw was about to drop to the floor. After a while, he looked at Kebby in disbelief. You are a powerful swordsman. Just now he thought Kebby was too cowardly Tilda. But in the blink of an eye, Kebby showed off his face. Ha Tilda, ha Tilda. Kirby was panting heavily, sweating profusely. In the world of Ghost Slayer, my wife Shani, yesterday, he had been practicing the breath of thunder with Sang Shima Sigara. After a day of experience, although Kebby still can't use the most basic one type, but with his current mastery of thunder's breath, it is more than enough to deal with a few marine soldiers. Me? Kebby pressed his wound and walked over with a pale face, while cutting Zora's rope with a knife, he explained. Actually, I'm a useless idiot. If I hadn't met you Olan and Luffy, I might have been someone else's slave forever. It is even more impossible to have such a strength. Slave? Zora was confused. Kirby nodded. Yeah, just yesterday, I was a handyman on the Alveda boat, and I could never escape. It was Liu Olan and Luffy who saved me. Pirates save lives. This word tilde, let Zora's heart touch a little bit. He has encountered too many pirates in these years, which one is not a heinous sky with blood on his hands? Question mark. The saving pirate. Please, does this really exist? Question mark. You have such powerful sword skills, why don't you run away? Zora couldn't understand Kebby's lightning-like killing move just now in his mind. You are so strong, you still want to be a slave to others. Even if you really can't beat Alvida, wouldn't it be easy to find a chance to escape Tilda? No. Didn't I just say that? I only started learning swordsmanship after I was rescued by Liu Olan yesterday. What? Zora's eyes widened. I just started learning swordsmanship yesterday, and I can reach this level today. Question mark. As soon as he makes a move, there will be sparks and lightning. Exclamation mark. What kind of evil talent is this? Exclamation mark. No. You mean, you just started learning swords yesterday? Zora felt that he must have misunderstood. So he asked again. Kirby nodded. Yeah, I learned it from Liu Olan's comic book. Comic book? Question mark. Zora is out of his mind. Speaking of swordsmanship, what comic books are you talking about? Oh, yes. I was as surprised as you were before. Liu Olan, he is a mango artist with the fruit of manga. The manga he draws can be entered into the world. I learned this kind of swordsmanship in one of the worlds. Kirby explained it kindly. Cool. Hearing what Kirby said, Zora's breathing became a little faster. Devil fruit. Although he has never seen it. He has heard it. If it is because of devil fruit, then any magical thing can be accepted. I see. Kebby looked at Zora, and said, If you also want to enter the comic world to learn swordsmanship, you can join their pirate group. Liu Olan is very nice. Even the poor guy who was rescued by him like me. He is willing to help me, let alone you. Enter the comic world to learn swordsmanship. To be honest, Zora is very excited. Huh? What happened here just now? Liu Olan's voice brought Zora back from fantasy to reality. Liu Olan glanced at the extra marine soldiers on the ground then at the untied Zora, and immediately understood. Now that the tiger can dance, isn't it easy to take care of a few marine soldiers? Is this the man? Zora looked at Liu Olan in front of him Tilda. This is the man who can make Kebby a powerful swordsman in one day! Exclamation mark. Then, Luffy's big mouth full white fang squeezed between Zora and Liu Olan. Hey, take a look, which one is your baby? Luffy handed the three knives in his hand forward and asked. The three knives are all mine. I am a three knife style. Saying that, Zora went to get the knife. Luffy flinched, not letting Zora get away with it. Instead, he smiled and said, It's done, take the knife, and you will be my partner. Dot. Zora gritted his teeth, You guy is the grandson of the devil, right? He called your grandpa a devil. Liu Olan reminded Luffy with an elbow. Oh, if that's the case, let's go. Luffy nodded seriously, and pulled Liu Olan away. Hey hey hey, my knife. Zora catches up and grabs Luffy. What knife? Isn't this my loot from Marine? Luffy said solemnly. Then looked at Liu Lan. Liu Lan nodded, raised his hand and said, That's right, it's your trophy, I testify. Dot. Although Zora is very depressed, but, it sounds like that is indeed the case Tilda. He lost his knife, he should ask Marine for it. And the knife in his hand is a boot he seized from Marine, what reason does Zora have for him to hand it over? Watching the backs of the two of them continuing to walk out, Zora pondered. He suddenly shouted, Hey, Luffy, I heard that you are the man who is going to be the One Piece King, huh? Who leaked the news? Luffy turned his head picking his booja with one hand tilde, arsehole, exclamation mark. Actually picking your nose, 
and then you still want to imitate my knife? Question mark. Cough dot 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 cough, Luffy, I said. Kirby raised his hand cautiously, with a sorry expression on his face. With Luffy's affirmation, Zora put on a stance. Hey, future One Piece, fight with me. Chapter 19, The Man Who Hunted the Beast! Exclamation mark. Hey, the future One Piece, fight with me. When such challenging words fell into Luffy's ears, it was as if Luffy had been given a shot. The whole person suddenly turned around. He didn't talk nonsense, and directly threw the three knives in his hand at Zora, and asked excitedly, Win and follow me? Steadily catching the three knives and retying them on the girdle, Zora caressed the word he on one of them as if pampering his wife Tilda. Then, the three knives came out of their sheaths, hands and mouth, three swords style. As soon as Zora raised his head, his eyes released a strong fighting spirit, if you can win. Let's talk. Then you agree. Luffy grinned and punched out straight away. Rubber gun! Exclamation mark. The elongated arm came suddenly, heading straight for Zoro's chest. Zoro rose from the ground like a rabbit. The rubber fist brushed past him, and the wind from the fist blew Zoro's hood violently. Over Luffy's fist, Zoro immediately closed the distance between the two. Double sword style. Two cuts. The double swords were suddenly held horizontally, and Zoro rushed at an extremely fast speed. The two knives pulled out two shiny spears in the air, like a flash movie and slashed towards Luffy's waist. Wow, it's amazing. Luffy's eyes widened, his legs stretched out, and then bounced up. A roll, dodging Zora's blow. However, he shouted fiercely, but his body was not idle. Rubber whip. The instant the roll was over, Luffy's rubber slats stretched, pulling towards Zora. Boom. Zora blocked with a blow and ran an arc, closing in on Luffy again. Well done. This time Luffy didn't dodge any more, but shouted loudly. Rubber machine gun. Wish wish. Exclamation mark. His fists are as fast as the wind and come out like rain. The frequency of punching was extremely fast, and each punch pulled out a long phantom, as if there were countless fists overwhelming Zora. At this moment, Mito stream, Zora shouted loudly, and the three blades cut out slices of light, and dealt with Luffy's attack methodically. Three swords style demon slashing. The two knives in his hand slashed across, and the third knife blocked the gap through which Luffy escaped. Zora's figure was like a charm and he rushed towards Luffy's back in an instant. Wow! Luffy's long arms grabbed the side fence, and by Ali pulled his body to the side of the fence. Rush! Exclamation mark. The lingering wind of the knife cuts through quickly Tilda. Wow Tilda! The wooden cross that was originally behind Luffy broke into three pieces. Exclamation mark. Wow! What a dangerous move! Luffy rubbed his arm. Although he reacted in time, he was still blown by Zora's knife wind. No bleeding but burning feet Tilda, awesome, you can actually escape my ghost slash, I'm starting to recognize your strength, keeping his back to Luffy, Zora spat out Haki's words, I have to say, let us not talk about whether Zora is strong or not, but the force of each move is really full, unlike the number one swordsman in the world, when he plays powerful moves, he always looks like a level A Tilda, great, now that the warm up is over, I'm going to work hard, Luffy shook his arms and walked back towards Zora, question mark, warm up over, question mark, you call what you just called a warm-up, hey hey hey, there must be a limit to talking big, right? Zora turned around abruptly, angrily, are you kidding me? You still retain your strength? Yes, Luffy hummed, and then took a stride. The two legs formed a circle of waves like a soft leather hose started to flush water. Um, seeing this scene, Liu Olan, who was watching the battle, shrank his eyes and opened his mouth wide in shock. No way, if I remember correctly, isn't this move? Just wondering, I heard Luffy yelling. Change gear, second gear, puff. Liu Olan spewed out an old gulp. This knee Matilda. What's the situation? Exclamation mark. As a qualified manga fan, Liu Olan remembers that the first time Luffy developed the second gear should be in the Anai's lobby battle. But where is this now? It's second gear. Question mark. His Tilda. Taking a deep breath, Liu Olan thought about it Tilda. You can't tear it up, sister. Could it be that? The world's version of Luffy was released earlier? Although Liu Olan couldn't figure out what the situation was, but thinking about it carefully, isn't this a good thing? If Luffy starts early, then I will be able to get to the finale more steadily. With a loud shout from Luffy, a lot of steam came out of his body, and his skin turned red. The momentum of the whole person suddenly raised. It's like a completely different person. Just now. You were really just warming up. Looking at Luffy at this moment, Zora wiped the sweat left on his face, with a look of shock in his eyes. Facing the previous Luffy, Zora didn't feel anything. But now, he felt that standing in front of him was a beast. A powerful force will erupt at any time. You can't go wrong. Zora has experienced many battles, he has a super keen sense of the strength of the enemy Tilda. The aura on Luffy can only be exuded by the strong. My current strength is not at the same level as before. I'm going to make a serious move. You'd better go all out for this blow. Rubbing his fists together, Luffy lowered his body like a beast about to be released. The moment he raised his head, the luster burst out from those pupils was extremely sharp. Okay, the stronger you are 
the more I like it. This kind of battle is only challenging. Gritting his teeth, Zoro tightly held the two knives in his hands, and devoted all his attention to the battle. The word Hideoi biting in his mouth was placed in front of him, exuding a chill. Tiger hunting, fight. Zoro unleashes a full blow with the strongest moves he has so far. The two sword lights juxtaposed vertically are like slashing the sky. You are a beast. Then I am the man who hunts the beast. Exclamation mark. Chapter 20 He picked up her knife and carried her dream. Exclamation mark. Tiger hunting. Sword light and sword shadow. Cold light intertwined. Zara caught Luffy's silhouette. However, reality is always far from ideal tilde. Whoosh! Exclamation mark. With the speed boost of the second gear, Luffy only left an afterimage of Zara, and jumped into the air. Rub rocket. Boom. The moment the sound came. Luffy's attack had already arrived. Zora had sensed it, but he had no time to resist. There was a loud roar tilde. On the cracked ground, Zora laid out a big character. Can you be my partner this time? Luffy came over and extended a friendly hand to Zora tilde. Wait, I haven't lost yet. Among the cracked floor, Zora didn't take Luffy's extended hand, but gritted his teeth and stood up wobbly. His eyes were firm. Come on, let's fight again. Hey tilde, seeing Zora's bruised nose and swollen face, Luffy scratched the back of his head shook his head and said, no need tilde, I'm in second gear, and all moves are completely breakthrough, you can't even block my blow, it's still the same if we fight again, the luffy in the second gear and the luffy in the first gear are not at the same level at all, can't stop a blow, hateful, exclamation mark, how can I, Zora, be so weak, exclamation mark, the desire to become stronger in his heart supported Zora, he didn't know where to borrow the strength, and he clenched the two knives in his hands, and shouted, come on, I can still fight, as he said that, he picked up his foot, picked up the third knife from the ground, and bit it in his mouth. Don't fight, don't fight Tilda. Luffy shook his head like a rattle, you can't stand still anymore, I think the winner has already been decided, why are you still playing around? No. Luffy, fight him. At this time, Liu Olan's voice fell into Luffy's ears. What? Luffy is hooked. He looked at Liu Olan in confusion, but he can't take my blow anymore. If you call again Tilda, isn't it to kill people? No. He hasn't given up yet. How can you be sure he won't be able to bear it? Liu Olan's tone became serious. He looked at Luffy seriously. Remember, never deny a heart that wants to become stronger. Originally, Liu Olan just wanted to lie down and follow the plot, and let everything take its course. But now watching the battle between the two, Liu Olan realized that something was wrong. At this time, Luffy and Zora have just met, and they don't know each other's personality at all. But as a time traveler, Liu Olan understands everyone's personality. If Luffy doesn't accept Zora's continued challenge today, then he might not be able to accept Zora. If there is no Zora on this ship, can it still be called the Straw Hat Pirates? Cannot. The Straw Hat Pirates. There is no one left. Luffy, give him a fight. Liu Olan looked serious, pointed at Zora with his finger, and shouted at Luffy. Never deny a strong heart. Give him a fight. Yes. Hot man dot 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 he understands me. Exclamation mark. No wonder even a cowardly existence like Kebby can transform after meeting Liu Olan. Now, I believe Kirby's words. Zora first gave a grateful nod to Liu Olan, then his eyes sharpened sharply, staring at Luffy. Come on, let's fight again. Driven by that sentence, Zora became emotional, and his whole body was burning with fighting spirit. Okay, I see. No matter how stupid Luffy is, he can feel what Zora is looking for at this moment tilde. Not just fighting, but a kind of persistence. Exclamation mark. As a mark of respect, Zora. I will show no mercy. The matter of partner or not is temporarily left behind, Luffy only has rivals in his eyes! Exclamation mark. An opponent worthy of his full efforts and respect. As soon as the words fell, Luffy's fist suddenly blasted out. Rubber jet dual guns. Boom! Exclamation mark. Double fist tilde. Double the power. Blast Zoro with sheer speed and force. What? Zoro broke out with perseverance, and miraculously blocked it. He crossed his swords, blocking Luffy's fist with the flats of the blades. Boom! Exclamation mark. With an earth-shattering sound, powerful force submerged into the blade tilde. Next moment, boom, the knife broke, exclamation mark. The aftermath of the two guns fell directly on Zora, boom, exclamation mark. Zora was like a cannonball, hitting the wall in the distance. Bar tilde, like a ball of dough, it slid along the wall and fell in the corner. Quiet, the scene suddenly fell into a deathly silence. Kirby's eyes widened in horror tilde, the little girl Lixiang covered her mouth, she was too scared to speak. Liu Olan shrunk his pupils slightly full of thoughts. Luffy stood on the spot, clenched his fists, and looked at Zora in the far corner seriously. Ended. After a while, Luffy spoke. But at this moment, Zora, who seemed to be dead, raised one arm stubbornly, and took the word head out from his mouth. Just such a movement seems to have exhausted all its strength. He pressed the tip of the knife to the ground, and the arm holding the knife was trembling. Obviously, he was working hard. He wants to stand up. You, although Luffy didn't understand why, she was shocked. Exclamation mark. Liu Olan let out a deep breath 
feeling mixed feelings in his heart. The man in front of me. There are too many famous scenes, especially the sentence nothing said in Ghost Island. Liu Olan is still fresh in my memory. As for why Zora persists Tilda, Liu Olan just wants to say, this is Zora. I dot 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 I haven't lost yet. This time, Zora grasped the handle of Hidao Yiwen's knife with both hands, and tried as hard as if he had overdrawn his life, and stood up again. Needless to say, he can no longer fight, and even standing, he has to catch the support of the knife to barely do it. Tilda, I have a question. Luffy looked at Zora and spoke calmly. It was very difficult for Zora to speak at this moment, and the corner of his mouth moved slightly, signaling for Luffy to ask. Luffy said, what's holding you up? If it was another question, Zora probably wouldn't bother to speak at this point. But the problem, enduring the severe pain, he lowered his head and glanced at the word he dow in his hand, with a resolute smile on his face. Because I once promised someone that I will become the world's number one swordsman with her efforts. When talking, Zora seems to be dreaming back to a few years ago Tilda. Under the starlight, the girl sat beside him, hugged her knees with both hands, and said with tears, I really envy you as a boy, I also want to be the world's number one swordsman. Now that she was gone, he took her knife, it carried her dream, exclamation mark. Promise her promise, before I finish it, I, heaving a heavy breath, Zora's face became even paler, almost without any blood, but he still desperately shouted with all his strength. Never dot 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 cannot dot 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 fall down. Chapter 21 You were telling Colonel Ben. Get lost. I used to be attracted by Zora's charisma just by watching Zora's actions in comics Tilda. See for yourself now. Hiss. Liu Olan gritted his back molars. This. What the hell is a real man? Exclamation mark. Zora, be my partner. Luffy didn't say anything more, but grabbed Zora's hand directly. Zora didn't speak. The cry just now had exhausted all his strength. At this moment. He almost didn't even have the strength to breathe Tilda. Boom Tilda. Zora passed out in Luffy's arms. D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A. The sound of leather boots stepping on the ground came in unison. A large number of marine soldiers rushed into the courtyard of the square and surrounded Liu Olan and others. Come behind me. Kobe pulled the little girl behind him. With the shot just now, he now has more confidence in himself. Don't move, raise your hands. The marine soldiers pointed their guns at Luffy, Liu Olan and others in unison, yelling loudly. Afterwards. The crowd of soldiers parted, and a tall and burly man stepped out from the middle. The part of his right forearm below the forearm was replaced with an axe. Colonel, Colonel, dot. When the marine soldiers looked at Munker, their faces were full of awe and fear. It's just a few troublemakers. Are you going to disturb me to come in person? Munker walked out, with his own aura. When he came to the front of the crowd, he saw a lot of marine soldiers lying on the ground. Immediately furious, come here, shoot all these guys lying on the ground. Ah, Tilda? He dot 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 they are marine, colonel, dot. The marine soldiers standing around Munka shouted in shock. A terrifying aura emanated from Menka's body, the corners of his mouth were raised slightly, and he said with cold eyes, Colonel Ben dot 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 doesn't need subordinates who are like trash. Shot. After all, Munka's ferocious eyes swept towards the marine soldiers beside him. These marine soldiers seemed to have a feeling of suffocation, so they quickly raised the guns in their hands and pointed the guns at the marine on the ground. Roll. But at this moment, Luffy's roar was like a thunderclap. On this square, the ground pierces the clouds! Exclamation mark. Nanny! Menka's mouth wrinkled fiercely. He picked out his ears, then slowly turned his head to look at Luffy, and asked in an arrogant manner, Did you just tell Colonel Ben? Get lost! Hiss! All marine soldiers subconsciously gasped! Exclamation mark. Look at Luffy like you're looking at a monster Tilda. To actually dot 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 to say such things to Colonel Munker. Crazy! Must be crazy! Exclamation mark. But just when these marine soldiers were thinking that Luffy was about to be split in half by Colonel Menka, a crisp and loud applause exploded in their ears. Exclamation mark. Snapped. Exclamation mark. Menka's invincible expression, under the sudden slap, was immediately slapped to pieces Tilda. It turned into an unbelievable wide-eyed. As soon as he looked up, he saw a figure standing in front of him. Yeah, it's you. Do you hear me clearly now? It was not Luffy who appeared in front of Munka at this moment, but Liu Olan, although he has no output. His speed and defense are terrifying. Facing a small place like East Blue, he has some unscrupulous capital. Just now he was being moved by Zora's persistence, but suddenly the sand sculpture of Menka ruined the atmosphere. You know, the guy who has no eyesight is the most hated Tilda, especially. This dude actually made the appearance of picking out his ears! Exclamation mark. This forced you to pretend Tilda. If you don't smoke, who will you smoke? Question mark. What? Menka's head was buzzing, and he shook his head. Only then did he regain his vision without double vision. When he saw Liu Olan in front of him clearly, his whole body was about to explode. Idiot. You are courting death. On the face with flying muscles, a fierce look is revealed. Exclamation mark. Menka swung his right arm, the sharp axe shone coldly under the sunlight tilde. With the power of slashing red line alone, 
He slashed at Liu Olan's head fiercely. Yes Tilda, cut off the head directly. Anyone who dares to disobey me, Mengke, is already a capital offense. And this guy in front of me actually slapped me. Exclamation mark. Die, die, die. Exclamation mark. Rush. The sharp axe cut through the air, heading straight for Liu Lan's head. Liu Lan, Liu Lan, Luffy and Kirby almost at the same time loud almost. Exclamation mark. One of Luffy's arms instantly extended, grabbed Liu Lan, and pulled back violently. Kirby rushed out, trying to rescue Liu Lan. In the face of Meng Kazax, Liu Lan was not in the slightest absurd, and even wanted to laugh. As soon as he raised his head, he was going to perform an empty-handed catch. After all, his defense stack is too high. Although I haven't compared it, Liu Lan estimates that it is no less than the defense of Big Mom's steel balloon. Brush Tilda. Before the palm of his hand caught the blade of the axe, Liu Lan felt the wind blowing violently on both sides, and then appeared beside Luffy. Wipe Tilda. Liu Lan was a little dumbfounded. He just wanted to pretend to be aggressive, but Tai Han Han kindly dragged him back. Hold Zora and give him to me. Luffy pushed Zora in his arms towards Liu Lan, and stepped forward. Okay Tilda. Don't pretend to me. It turns out that you are the one who wants to pretend. Okay, you come, you come Tilda. Liu Olan likes to lie down anyway. Then quietly appreciate your own captain's performance Tilda. Menko hit the floor with an axe. The gravel explodes and the effect is amazing. But he himself staggered and fell like a dog. Arsel. Because of anger, even his lips became turbulent. He was pressed on the ground, and just about to get up. He saw another large shadow suddenly appear on the ground. What happened? Question mark. It's clearly a sunny day with the sun shining brightly now. Where's the shade? Question mark. Subconsciously, Menka looked up at the sky tilde. Um, what it is? A large area that directly blocks the sun's rays? One leaf blinds the eyes, but Mount Tai cannot be seen. Munker couldn't see the whole picture of the thing above his head from the angle of looking up, but his ears could clearly hear Luffy's roar from above. Rubber Giant Gun. Chapter 22 Fist from the Sky. Puff. Liu Olan took a sip of salt soda and sprayed Zora on his face tilde. Nima tilde. Third gear. Question mark. What the hell is this? Question mark. I just arrived in Shields Town, not to mention the second gear, and then the third gear. The hanging of this Luffy is too big! Exclamation mark. Good 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 good. Great. The bigger the hang, the more comfortable I can lie. At this speed, wouldn't it be possible to open fifth gear before becoming a Seibadi Archipelago? If that's the case, wouldn't the picture be beautiful when Kizaru descends? Question mark. Thinking of Kizaru's frighteningly cheap appearance, Liu Lan felt that this guy deserved a beating! Exclamation mark. When the time comes. Our Luffy will let you know what is scary. Rubber giant gun. While in the air, Luffy bit his finger and blew a bone balloon. Then, with a fist that descended from the sky, he smashed down with a bang. Exclamation mark. Boom. Exclamation mark. The ground of the entire shield town seemed to tremble. Many young girls walking on the road were shaken and fell to the ground, their skirts fluttering. In the square of Marine Base, the earth roars and the floor splashes. Exclamation mark. After the smoke and dust dissipated, Menka was smashed into a shattered shape amidst the rubble. Even the broad axe is gone Tilda. Good. So amazing. Kebby opened his mouth wide, as if seeing a monster. His eyeballs were about to pop out. Luffy fell to the ground, his big fist returned to normal, and the expression on his face was rare and serious. He glanced coldly at the marine soldiers around him. Anyone else want to try? Dot. Soldiers, look at me, I look at you Tilda. The expressions on each face gradually changed from shock at the beginning to excitement. Awesome. Colonel Munker is down. This guy's reign is over. Liberated. Dot. To Luffy's surprise, these marine soldiers not only did not intend to continue fighting, but all cheered excitedly. They threw up the knives and guns in their hands, and the sense of joy of relief was absolutely impossible to pretend. Hey Tilda, what's going on? Why are they so happy when the colonel is knocked down? Not expecting such a situation at all. Luffy was directly stunned. Liu Olan smiled and explained, obviously. From the fear of these marine soldiers towards Menka just now, it can be seen that they have lived under Menka's power for a long time, and were forced by Menka to become his minions. And now that Menka is down, they can finally be a real marine again. So it's like this Luffy scratched his head, as if he understood. Leave that aside, hurry up and find a doctor to show Zora. Liu Olan reminded him, and helped Zora to go outside. Pass it to me. Luffy volunteered to snatch Zora over tied Zoro with one arm like a rope, and carried him on his shoulder. A few days later Tilda, Port of Shield Town Tilda, Big Brother, have a good trip. With tears in her eyes, the little girl Lixiang reluctantly grabbed Zoro's palm. At this time, Zoro's injury has almost healed. Speaking of which, normally speaking, with such a serious injury, he would have to lie down for about a hundred days. But Liu Olan had experienced Zoro's monster physique when reading comics before. Now that I have seen it with my own eyes, I know that Zora is a monster, and I am flattering a monster. A few ribs were broken, 
and it will be fine in the past few days. Would you believe it if you hadn't seen it with your own eyes? Question mark. Well, thank you for the rice ball. Next time you come back, can you make it for me? Zora squatted down, reaching the same height as Xiao Lixiang, showing his tough and tender side, and molded Xiao Lixiang's head. Xiao Lixiang pursed her lips. Her tears shone with happiness. Well, big brother, when I grow up, will you take me out to sea together? As soon as she said this, the face of her mother, Li Lixiang, who was standing beside her suddenly became pale. My daughter wants to be a pirate, that's okay Tilda. Ahaha. That's not okay. You can't be a pirate. Pirates are not good things. Zora laughed heartily, which made Li Lixiang's worried face slightly better. On the other hand, Luffy and Liu Olan who were standing on the deck curled their lips, turned around almost simultaneously, and looked at the sea in the distance. He was already thinking about how to beat Zora later. These black-bellied guys. But, big brother, you are a good person. Didn't you become a pirate too? Xiao Lixiang pouted. Don't look at my young age. I'm not easy to fool Tilda. It's different. I was forced by those two guys behind. Zora shook his head, then got up and looked down at Lixiang. Anyway, don't think about being a pirate. I'll come back to see you later. Gone. Posing a handsome back, Zora strode onto the side of the ship and boarded the deck. Luffy, Liu O Lan, just when the pirate ship had left the port, Kebi rushed to the port and shouted, Hey, Kebi, you're here. Luffy smiled, as if he had expected Kebi's arrival. Liu Olan also waved to Kirby, Hi, looking at your outfit, you should have fulfilled your wish to become a marine, right? Kebi yelled, Yes, sorry, I'm late. I finally sneaked out to see you off. Sneaked out? Are you sure? Liu Olan grinned, raised his right index finger, and pointed in the direction behind Kebi. Question mark. Kebi didn't understand what Liu Olan meant but turned his head and looked behind him reflexively. I saw a row of marine soldiers standing in a neat formation on the port behind Kirby. What? Question mark. Kirby was taken aback. It's over, it's over Tilda. I finally joined marine, and now I sneak out to see off the pirates, and I was caught. It's over, my marine dream is coming to an end Tilda. But just when Kirby was about to lose heart, Captain Marine's voice exploded in the port. Exclamation mark. Salute from all. Slap. All the marines stand at attention and salute. Hey? Question mark. Kebi was taken aback for a moment, but then he reacted immediately. He also looked in the direction of Liu Olan and Luffy, slapped and saluted. Exclamation mark. Liu Olan readily accepted, and responded with a hand gesture to the marines. Then, he leaned on the railing, resting his chin with one hand, and smiled at Xiao Lixiang, little sister. Did you see that? Pirates. There are good people too Tilda. I knew it. Xiao Lixiang's face was full of joy, her lips trembled with excitement. When I grow up, I will definitely become a pirate. You're welcome anytime. Luffy held his hands up high, and the back molars of his smile were all exposed. Hey, you two bastards. Ah ha ha ha. Dot. Chapter 23 A Comic Book for Zora. The pirate ship has left Shield Town Tilda. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Watching the two men pressing towards him, Zora maintained a defensive posture. Pirates are not good things, are they? Luffy rolled up his sleeves and walked forward. You still pointed at Sang and scolded Why in front of Xiao Lixiang. I can't tell. You are still a black-bellied swordsman Tilda. Liu Olan followed suit and rolled up his sleeves. Ah, Tilda? Cough cough, misunderstanding, misunderstanding. Didn't that fool Xiao Lixiang and tell her not to think about being a pirate? Zora looked serious, and then explained, It's so obvious, you can't be unreasonable. I'm sorry, but if the pirates want to be reasonable, what do marines need to do? Liu Olan grinned and rushed forward. That's right, we are pirates. Unreasonable pirates. Luffy echoed and rushed forward following the yelling, boom, boom, provision, snapped, boom, dot. Comfortable, Liu Olan tidied up his instruments and went to the studio. It's really cool. Luffy jumped back a few steps, then stretched his muscles, and molded, Zantong, from his arms, and said in a good mood, I'm going to read comics. The ten chances to enter the manga today have not been used yet, now is a great time to formally practice. Zora got up from the ground, his face turned dark tilde. At first, he thought that the two of them were really going to beat him up but he didn't expect them to grab him for a long time, which made him at a loss Tilda, especially when Luffy took the opportunity to take out two handfuls of his balls. Damn guy, I must find a chance to get it back! Exclamation mark. Um, this guy is actually reading comics. Comics, by the way, I seem to remember it. Kirby told me this before. Zora suddenly remembered what Kirby told him earlier. The comics drawn by Liu Olan can enter the world in it, and Kirby learned the powerful swordsmanship with sparks and lightning from one of the comics. Now seeing that Luffy ran to read the manga just after digging out his eggs, Zora doubted him even more. He leaned over and asked with doubts in his heart, You manga. Can you go in? Luffy was just about to activate his spirit to enter the comic world, when Zora suddenly called out, and the spiritual connection was interrupted. Oh, yes, Luffy nodded. But suddenly, he said in surprise, Hey Tilda, how do you know? I heard what Kebby said, 
He said that Liu Olan is a manga fruit capable person, and his manga can enter the world in it. Is this true? Recalling what Kirby said earlier, Zora said. That's right. That's true. Luffy smiled, nodded, and then suddenly thought of something, and continued. By the way, I was a bit disgraced in our previous battle. As soon as these words came out, Zoro exploded. Hey, hey, there must be a limit to looking down on people. If you lose, you lose, and if you win, you win. I'm not the kind of person who argues verbally for a while. Luffy shook his head, no. If I had met you a few days ago, I wouldn't have been able to defeat you, at least not easily. On the marine base square, do you still remember the strength I had when I first fought you? Remember, you and I were evenly matched at that time. But after you opened the second gear, I was no match at all. Wait, you don't mean to say that you learned your second gear in comics, right? Zoro suddenly remembered that when he saw Kebi's swordsmanship before, Kebi said that he learned his swordsmanship from comics. That's not true. Luffy held out a finger and waved it, and then changed his words. However, it is indeed the credit of the comics that I was able to develop the second gear so quickly. I failed again and again in the comic world, which made me work hard going to find a breakthrough eventually led me to develop second and third gears. So, without this comic, it's really hard to say who will win the battle between me and you that day. Luffy is very calm. He's not the kind of person who wants to save face. By the way, you haven't gone to Liu Olan yet, have you? Go to him and ask for a copy. You are a swordsman, so you should learn about swordsmanship Luffy suggested. Can I too? Hearing this, Zora felt a little turbulent Tilda. His breathing quick and unconsciously, for someone like him Tilda, being able to become stronger, was his dream. Exclamation mark. What can you do too? What is this called? Luffy stood up and said seriously, Hey, of course, we are partners, dot. Partner Tilda. Having been alone for so long, Zora seemed to be used to acting alone. But now, when he heard Luffy call him partner affectionately, he couldn't help being moved Tilda. Partner Tilda. Yes, from now on, you are my captain! Exclamation mark. Some people Tilda, once recognized, it is a lifetime. Needless to say, Zora did not delay Luffy's entry into the comics, but went to Liu Olan's studio as a partner. In the cabin Tilda, Zora, come in and sit Tilda. Liu Olan stopped his paintbrush, and it was a warm invitation. As long as it's not a certain King Erha who comes to demolish the house, everyone else is welcome to Liu Olan. Zora entered the studio and saw the bookshelf full of manga. He was short of breath. Are these all comics that can be entered into it? Liu Olan is really amazing. After thinking about it, he decided to go straight. Liu Olan, I want to ask you for a manga about swordsmanship, is that okay? Read comics. Liu Olan was a little surprised. Shouldn't this guy be a cultivator who devotes his spare time to cultivation all the time? Question mark. Why are you interested in comics? Shouldn't he be spoiled by that guy Luffy? But, comics about swordsmanship Tilda. This is possible. Let Zora feel the heroic posture of powerful swordsmen in other worlds, it seems to be a very good idea Tilda. After thinking about it, Liu Olan went to the comic book shelf and looked through it. Then he took out a copy and handed it to Zora. Here, take this manga, this man's swordsmanship is amazing, I hope you can learn something. Even the manga author himself thinks the magical swordsmanship Tilda. Zora was very excited. Okay, I will definitely not let you down. Taking the manga with both hands, Zora looked at the cover. Question mark biography of Kojiro Sasaki, chapter 24 come, try cutting a wooden gillum stake Tilda. On deck Tilda, Luffy sits on one end. Zora sits on the other. Zora opened the manga. This is a garden in a mountain Tilda. Under the banyan tree, there was a handsome boy with a branch in his mouth. Dark blue ponytail, lavender headband, dark purple sleeveless waistcoat, purple kimono inside, purple wristbands tied around the wrists, and straw sandals on the feet. The boy was holding a long knife in his hand, and he was chopping wooden gillum piles non-stop. Behind him, there was a scruffy looking old man looking at the boy with a wide smile. This knife is skewed by half an inch. This knife has improved only one cent away. This knife? Huh? Sasaki, you were blinded by the knife just now, right? This knife is very close again. Dot. Every time Sasaki Kojira made a cut, the old man behind him would accurately report the error of the cut. There is a red mark on the wooden gillum stake, which is a thin line, and this is the target Sasaki Kojira wants to strike. Sasaki Kojira nodded. His immature face was covered with sweat but full of determination. Day by day Tilda, Sasaki Kojiro has been chopping wooden gillum piles, and the target has never changed, it is the marked red line. His slashing error is getting smaller and smaller Tilda. Zora didn't know why, but the scene of chopping the wooden gillum pile deeply attracted him. He continues to scroll down Tilda. In a blink of an eye, the boy has grown into a youth, with a tall and straight figure and a handsome appearance, if it weren't for the long knife in his arms, no one would have thought that he was a swordsman. Growing up in the chaotic era, Sasaki Kojiro had to fight in the shadow of swords and swords almost every day in order to survive every day. It stands to reason that in such an environment, normal people would also become murderous lunatics. However, Sasaki Kojiro not only did not show any signs of madness, 
but instead acted in the opposite direction, and developed elegant habits such as admiring the moon, tasting tea, and reciting poem Tilda. As long as he doesn't use a knife, he seems to be a master of elegance. At first, Zoro couldn't understand Sasaki Kojiro's behavior, and thought that a swordsman is a swordsman, why should he love Fenya Tilda? Isn't this a waste of life and time? Question mark. But when he continued to look back, Zoro realized that his concept was wrong. On the scroll on the next page, Kojiro Sasaki ushered in his first formidable enemy in his life! Exclamation mark. The two battles can be described as evenly matched, you come and go. Between the cold light and the shadow of the knife, both sides were seriously injured, their skins were torn apart! Exclamation mark. The opponent showed a fierce face, and launched a frenzied attack on Sasaki Kojiro with a gesture of killing each other. When both sides are running out of ammunition and food, this desperate style of play will undoubtedly greatly increase the chances of winning! Exclamation mark. But, the mountain wind picked up the man's hair bun, revealing his elegance Tilda, with a five foot long knife in his hand, Sasaki Kojiro was calm and calm, as if he was enjoying the moon and drinking tea in his own courtyard, without the slightest panic Tilda, walking around in the courtyard, he diffuses the opponent's crazy attack one by one, under the opponent's increasingly skeptical eyes, the five foot long knife gracefully cut across the opponent's neck Tilda, the battle is over, clang, with the sword in the sheath, his figure is as tall and straight as a pine, in the mountains of the bright moon, the lonely shadow of the cold light Tilda. He took the wine jug from his waist, uncorked the cork, and threw it down. What a leisurely way! Exclamation mark. See here Tilda, Zora got it! Exclamation mark. Sasaki Kojiro is different from those fake handles who like to be arty. He has integrated the way of elegance into his own way of swordsmanship. It is precisely because of this elegant way that he can maintain a calm and unhurried attitude at all times and face all difficulties and desperate situations with an absolutely leisurely posture, thus turning the world around. Continue to read the comics Tilda. Sasaki Kojiro has already mastered the art of swordsmanship. At this time, he no longer has to fight every day, because almost all the people who can fight him are dead. Daily Tilda. When he woke up in the morning, he took his wooden knife and chopped wooden gillum steaks. At noon, he drinks tea and enjoys the light Tilda. At sunset, he drank wine, admired the moon, and recited poems. Zora looked at the manga that was about to be finished and his heart suddenly jumped Tilda, it's not right, didn't you say you can enter the manga, why have I almost finished reading it and haven't gone in yet, but when the idea of Zora just came into being, wow, the original salty sea breeze smell disappeared, replaced by the morning mountain forest smell, the mountain wind blowing moist with rain and dew makes people feel very relaxed and happy, Tilda, Kojiro Sasaki stopped chopping wooden gillum piles and turned to look at the stranger who suddenly appeared in his yard, young man, are you lost, get lost, Tilda, what a joke! Exclamation mark. Izora will get lost. There are reverse scales in long, and if you touch it, you will definitely commit crimes! Exclamation mark. Like a condition reflex, Zora was going to be furious. But suddenly, hey Tilda! He opened his eyes wide and looked at his surroundings, only to realize that he had entered the world of manga. Senior Sasaki Kojiro, looking at the middle-aged man in front of him, Zora subconsciously called out his name. Senior question mark Tilda. Sasaki Kojiro looked at Zora calmly his deep eyes could see through Zora's strength almost instantly, then he shook his head, young man, if you want to challenge me, then it's too early, although Sasaki Kojiro has killed countless people, he is not a person who kills indiscriminately, no, senior, I want to learn swords from you, it stands to reason that with Zora's character, he wouldn't say such abrupt words, but because of the examples of Luffy and Kirby, Zora's perception of the characters in the comics has a little deviation. Luffy tells him that being in the comics world raises the bar. Kirby told him that he learned the sword technique of sparks and lightning in the comics. Zora subconsciously thinks that the world in the comic book is the place to learn art. That's why he expressed his thoughts without any foreshadowing when he opened his mouth. He looked at the young man who had strayed into his courtyard, and he immediately remembered that when he was a teenager, he met an old sword master by chance, and thus stepped into the path of swordsmanship. Although the old sword master hiccuped after being with him for more than a month, he taught him the elegant attitude of chopping wooden gillum piles and being a swordsman. He is also the only teacher in his life. At this moment, looking at the young man who strayed into the courtyard in front of him, isn't he himself who seems to be in another life? Come on, try cutting a wooden gillum pile. With a light flick of the wrist, the wooden knife fell towards Zora in a perfect curve. Chapter 25 Falls Powerful real powerful, Zora took the wooden knife and walked up to the wooden gillum pile, holding the wooden knife in both hands, he slashed down on the wooden gillum pile, brush, the wooden gillum pile exploded, exclamation mark, Zora turned and looked at Sasaki Kojiro, senior, I have been practicing swordsmanship since I was very young, I think I should have passed the basics, Sasaki Kojiro didn't say anything, he just walked to the knife rest and picked up a wooden knife, young man, 
I have now suppressed my strength to the same level as yours. Opening his mouth calmly, Kojiro Sasaki turned his wrist and pointed the wooden knife at a 45 degree angle to the ground. The breeze blows, like a person in a picture scroll. Okay, I wish for it. It is great for Zora to be able to fight against such a strong senior. After all, in the world of pirates, fighting is the best way to become stronger. And the opponent gave him a fight, obviously to mention him. Senior, offended, performing a swordsman's ritual, Zora placed the wooden knife at his waist. The moment he shot, his eyes suddenly became sharp. One swordsman Julian Song Song. With a wind of the sword, Zora disappeared in place. This is a very strong sword drawing cut. The moment the sword is drawn, people will appear behind the enemy. Thus the battle is over. But, snapped. The wooden knife in Sasaki Kojiro's hand felt tilde. Zora felt his eyes spinning and fell to the ground. What a fast knife. Modeling a bump on his forehead, Zora exclaimed. Come again. Sasaki Kojiro picked up the wooden knife on the ground to Zora. It is good. Zora is excited when there is a battle. He picks up the knife again and puts on a posture tilde. Coming. One shot living together lion singing song. Exclamation mark. Zora charged out again. Snapped. Ah. Zora fell to the ground, and he rubbed his forehead. The second bulge did not appear, but the first bulge got bigger. Come again. Sasaki Kojiro didn't have any extra words and he said the same thing. Zora picked up the wooden knife and thought about it tilde. So he went to the knife rack and picked up a wooden knife again. Double sword style. Two cuts. Snapped. Ah. Zora fell to the ground. He patted his forehead tilde. Hiss. No wonder it hurts so much. This time the blow was still on his drum kit. How so? Not to mention the first fight. The second time is considered the number of battles most you owe dealt with, which is barely justified. But in this third fight, Zora had already understood the opponent's way through the previous two fights but he was dealt with the same blow and hit the same place. Come again. Sasaki Kojiro's voice sounded again. He has been standing in the same position from the beginning, without moving a single step. A Hilda, hateful, can't even make him take a step back. If the opponent puts out all his strength, Zora will not be dissatisfied Tilda. But now the other party has suppressed the realm and strength to the same level as him, but it still shows one-sided suppression. This makes Zora completely unacceptable Tilda. Even, compared to the previous fight with Luffy, Zora couldn't accept the current situation even more. Impossible. Even if you have rich combat experience, it is impossible for you to use the same trick all the time without any flaws. Zora didn't believe in evil. He went to the knife rest again, and picked up another wooden knife. Um, Sasaki Kojiro frowned slightly. What are you doing? Actually, I am a three-sword swordsman. After saying that, Zora bit the wooden knife on his mouth. Dot. Sasaki Kojiro seemed to hesitate to speak, and then returned to calm, just said lightly come again. Okay, this time it must be different. Zoro gritted his teeth, and the arm muscles holding the double knives bulged slightly, showing amazing explosive power. With a movement of his body, he raised his two sabers above his head, and slashed at Kojiro Sasaki in an unrivaled posture. Three sword style, tiger hunting. Like a tiger crossing a ravine, Zoro's attack came instantly. I have observed the opponent's attack three times before Tilda, because the opponent holds the sword with his right hand. The loophole in defense is on the left. And Zora also rushed to the left with this blow. Snapped. Dot. Zora who fell to the ground looked dazed. How is this possible? Exclamation mark. He obviously already knew his attack loopholes. Why is it still like this? He reached out and touched his forehead tilde. Good guy. Sure enough, it was still the same as before. Sasaki Kojiro's attack still landed on the bulge on his head. He murmured suspiciously of his life. Impossible. How can anyone use the same attack several times in a row without losing the accuracy? Although Zora is a road idiot, he is a genius in the way of swordsmanship. If he still doesn't understand where he lost, he doesn't deserve to regard the world's number one swordsman as his ideal. No matter how many times the same move is repeated, the accuracy of the attack remains completely unchanged, which makes it impossible for the opponent to catch his mistakes. Exclamation mark. Where to hit? When Zora failed to fully perform every move, Zora dominated the confrontation between the two sides with a powerful blow. As a result, Zora was defeated. Come again. Sasaki Kojiro said calmly. Not coming. Zora shook his head decisively. He has seen it. No matter how many times he repeated the challenge, he still couldn't see through Sasaki Kojiro's sword, and would always be forced to fight as if the two met for the first time under the opponent's attack. Yes Tilda. The first time, the second time, the third time. Even if it is the thousandth fight. When facing Sasaki Kojiro, it would be like meeting a swordsman like Sasaki Kojiro for the first time, and he would be unable to see through his sword at all. Exclamation mark. So, what is the need to continue? Since you're not coming, let's cut wooden gillum piles. Sasaki Kojiro put the wooden knife in his hand on the knife holder, and then walked towards the house. Oh, Zora responded. This time I'm not at all unconvinced Tilda. 
He knows, just now, Sasaki Kojiro's ordinary chop was so ordinary that it could no longer be ordinary, and it was also a chop that made Zoro helpless. In fact, it was the true meaning of Sasaki Kojiro's daily chopping of wooden gillum piles. Zoro picked up the wooden gillum pile that had just exploded and tied it up again. He looked at a thin red line in the center above the wooden gillum stake, where there was only a cut that overlapped the red line. Is it powerful to smash the wooden gillum pile with one knife? Of course great. It's just... That kind of power is just a fool's power tilde. Any fool can do it. And a wooden gillum pile has been split for ten years. But there is only a shallow trace. This is the real power. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.